ignite a game-winning drive in which they have to go to their backup quarterback of Riley Cooper, and he delivers with four consecutive passes, including the game winner to Diego Soto, an 18-yard pass that capped off a nine-play, 75-yard drive, leaving only 46 seconds left on the clock, and they pick up their third win of the season as they knock off point by final score of 25 to 22. Tenth all-time meeting here today for these two matchups uh, with KCU leading the all-time series 7 to 2. Those two losses came in the same season back-to-back -back two years ago, uh, once here and then another time up at Bluefield in a unique year when Cincinnati Christian actually shut down its program and left several teams scrambling at the end of the year trying to find games to fill in the void that was left for senior day. That's how Bluefield and KCU ended up playing twice in that season. But uh, last this well, it was actually earlier this year in the spring, they met up twice, and KCU was victorious in both of those meetings. They won on February 21st, 45-0, and then traveled to Bluefield on March 13th and knocked off the Rams 31-7. Let's take our first break. When we come back, we'll preview today's matchup. We'll talk with head coach Jake Russell and get his thoughts on the contest and get you ready for kickoff here on a gloomy, rainy Saturday afternoon in the heart of the parks. Night Stadium with the Bluefield Rams on tap with KCU. And our coverage on Countdown to Kickoff continues on the Coit's My Town TV Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Greenup and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service, and you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup, Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way. In Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Becker and Countdown to kickoff on the Coyotes MyTown TV Sports Network. About 17 minutes to go before kickoff here between KCU and Bluefield. Let's preview today's matchup. We'll start first with the visiting Rams. They come with a record of 3-5. and five. They've won their last two. And the interesting numbers is the scores. They put up 40.6 a game. The downside, they're giving up 51 a game. And this is a team that really isn't concerned about trying to hold you back from doing what you want to do. They believe they can do anything through the air attack that they want, averaging nearly 500 yards a night, almost 400 through the air. It's no secret they're going to sling it around and a lot here in this contest. Nathan Herstich, Herstich, excuse me, comes in over 2,000 yards. He's thrown 20, 29 touchdowns and nine interceptions, averaging 327 yards per outing. He's got a pair of 1,000-yard receivers already this year in the season with Jaquan Ebron, younger brother of NFL wide receiver and tight end Eric Ebron, who comes in with 64 catches, 1,172 100, 1, yards, and 13 scores. Antonio Strickland, 70 balls for 1,027 and 12 scores. 
He's also a running back threat as they'll use him on a, a lot of end around and jet sweep plays. He's uh, gotten in the end zone twice on that and 100 yards on 20 touches. Uh, two other guys that will see action today in the passing game, Matt Trevilian, 34 catches, 410 yards, and seven scores. His longest is the long of the season for the Rams of 78. Thomas Lee, a 6'3 freshman, and on the uh, slot receiver position, 387 yards and five scores. Defensively, uh, again, a team that's giving up 51 points a game, and this is a game that KCU believes that it can really establish the ground and pound attack to where you use those long, sustained drives and shorten the game. Uh, this is a game that you uh, you look at it on paper and, and say this is certainly an opportunity that KCU wants to take the air out of the football. Take the opportunities away from Bluefield to have the ability to go down on those long long passing attacks and, and rapid scores to where you're you're right back out on the field two minutes later. It's, uh, it's something that we've seen in the past with, with KCU uh, before Coach – Corey Phipps moved on to U Pike. That was kind of the established play that he went with. Coach Russell, a little bit more of a ground and pound and a kind of a balanced attack. But uh, Bluefield, that's kind of the per personnel that Coach Dewey Lusk has. And Lusk has been around this game for many, many years, and he certainly knows how to get the best out of the players that's presented to him. For KCU, Justin White, Riley Cooper, they kind of uh, had a little bit of a battle this week for the quarterback position after Cooper jumped off the bench and delivered a game-winning drive last week here in Grayson. But talking with Coach Russell this week at the end, he said it just seemed like White still had the pulse of the team and that he was a little bit more crisp in certain situations. But don't be surprised if we would see Riley Cooper in a situation should the should the situation or opportunity present itself for a need. But it all kind of lands on the shoulders today of Jordan Brown. 5'11", 215-pound freshman. Uh, last week, 142 yards and a touchdown on 23 carries. He's at 694 on the season, averaging just under 100 yards a game with six touchdowns. Everything kind of goes through him. And, of course, when you've got a couple of playmakers on the outside that's not uh, with the Knights due to injury, Still no Cody Washington this week. Trey Alzine is out, as is Corey Garcia. A couple of those guys hoping to make returns maybe next week or the week after, but um, it's forcing some other guys to step up, and one of those guys that's been big has been Jalen Fortune. Uh, the junior out of Pensacola, Florida, a running back by trade, has stepped into the receiving game, led the way last week with five balls for 75 yards, and he's just kind of a guy that goes out and does a little bit that's needed. Uh, he can go from the running back position. It's kind of a scat back. He can come into the slot. He can work the outside edge. We'll certainly see how much they go to him here today. Micah Adams, another kid that's starting to see some uh, some more time on the field in that outside receiver position. And, and of course, Diego Soto, the sophomore, uh, out for a couple of weeks due to an injury, came back last week, four balls, 43 yards, and the game-winning touchdown there at the end. All right, let's step aside for a break. When we come back, we'll talk with head coach Jake Russell, get his thoughts on this afternoon's matchup, and get you ready for KCU and Bluefield. About 12 and a half minutes before kickoff, and our coverage continues here on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. Oh, no. When that happens, bring your vehicle to Monroe Collision, where owner Kevin Monroe will discuss how best to repair your damage. Let Kevin tell you about their pre-work process and how Monroe Collision will work with your insurance company directly to get you back into your vehicle much sooner. Kevin makes it easy to do because he cares about you and will get you back on the road happy and with a lifetime warranty. Stop by their convenient locations, Sportsman, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. Monroe, collision, our work says it all. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb. Your country Chevrolet and Grayson needs your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes.
minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Pure Country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us, 606-474-5116. Pure Country Chevrolet, find new roads. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Back on countdown to kickoff coverage on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. Joined with KCU head coach Jake Russell, and uh, this is football weather. Uh, this is what you look on TV and you see playing on Sundays. But uh, gloomy conditions, a little bit of drizzly rain. It's going to be with us much of the afternoon. But uh, fall like football, this is what you expect. Yeah, I was just talking to the quarterbacks. This is actually perfect throwing weather. The ball gets a little bit tacky and sticky and. Um, if the weather stays like this, I mean, I, I think it's great. I think it's a little bit to our advantage. I mean, we're more of a, you know, ground and pound, establish the run type team where they like to try to, you know, air it out, score as many points as possible. So, you know, in, in its own way, this is a beautiful day to play football. Yeah, I was going to say that the rain probably in that sense, you'd like to see a little bit more rain because they like to put video game like numbers up through the air game. And it's no, no secret. They're going to come out. They're going to try to throw the ball 40, 50 times. We kind of talked about it as a staff all week that if it did, you know, the rain got a little bit heavy, that would probably definitely play into our advantage with them, you know, being such of a air raid type team that's got really strong receivers and us having the ability with uh, our offensive line, multiple running backs to really run the ball effectively. When you look at what they do through the offense, of they've got two prolific guys on the outsides, but they also they like to do some, some running attack with those guys, those end around those jet sweeps that you have to take care of as well. Yeah, they've got the – Two really, really good outside receivers who have been, you know, in this conference, I think, for like eight or ten years. At least. And then we've got uh, – they've got their slot guys, which they're getting really creative with, finding them ways to get balls. They're not so traditional, you know, run downhill, running play type stuff, but getting their guys the ball in space, which is just modern football. And they've done a really good job, you know, putting the right players in that system to be really successful. And one of the guys that we talked about, you and I talked about uh, on Thursday, uh, a guy that you know very well with Jaquan Ebron. He uh, – He's a prolific player that, that we're going to call the name a lot, but uh, you know that guy very well. We've kind of been talking all week in the office that everybody keeps coming and telling me that this guy's the best receiver, this guy's the best receiver, and I just tell them every time, I said, no, number five is the best receiver, guys. I've played against them. I recruited him. He's got the genetics. Uh, really good football player. I mean, they've got multiple weapons, but he is a really good player. I think anytime you play guys with this prestige and everybody's talking about, the DBs just get really fired up about it. So I think you're going to see really strong performance and them step up to that challenge today. You look at Bluefield, it's no secret. You've got Dewey Lusk, a guy that's been around for ages. He knows a little bit about everything, and he finds a way to get the best out of the players that he has available to him. Yeah, Coach Lusk is just an awesome man, just getting to know him a little bit through coaching. He's done wonders with the Bluefield program. It's got them really competitive. This is, you know, one of their stronger teams that, that they've had. And uh, as they've shown this year, they can put up a ton of points. And you always know one thing about Bluefield. There's going to be a little bit of craziness that happens, and uh, they're always going to be in a position to beat you. Coming in off the win last week in a come-from-behind fashion here on the home turf, how big is that? And how was practice this week to build up to this game coming in here for Military Appreciation Day? Well, you lose the game next week, and kind of your uh, big goal for the season of winning the conference championship is out the window. And kind of told our guys we're one win away from being one win away from playing for the conference championship against Reinhardt here in two weeks and I think uh, at the beginning of the season every single guy within this program that cares about this program would have taken that in a heartbeat and what you've got to do to make that a reality is to be Bluefield today. Coach appreciate the time good luck we'll talk to you after the game. Thanks so much. Starting lives when we continue on the quits My Town TV Sports Network. At SOMC it's happening. Now the SOMC patient portal app puts managing your health care right in your hands. You can request appointments with a simple touch of a screen, quickly and easily get a refill of your prescriptions, make online bill payments, direct message your SOMC provider, and even have safe and convenient virtual visits just about anywhere. The Patient Portal app at Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. 
Stealth Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stealth Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Greenup and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stealth Pharmacy in Greenup, Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stoltz Pharmacy. Back here on Countdown to kickoff on the Coyotes MyTown TV Sports Network. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for today's game. We'll start first with Bluefield, the Richard sophomore quarterback of Nathan Herstich. Last week, 22 of 34, 378 yards and eight touchdowns. He slings it around with the best in the conference and in the country, to say the least, as uh, he's already over 2,200 yards on the season and looking certainly for more. His weapons on the outside edge, Jaquan Ebron, who leads the team in receiving yards with 1,172 and 13 scores. He went for eight catches for 199 yards and a touchdown last week. He's also joined with Antonio Strickland, who caught four of those eight touchdown passes. His uh, seven grabs, four of them, went to the end zone. He's also over 1,000 on the season. A couple of other targets, Matt Trevilian and Thomas Lee, will be active in the passing attack. And then the lone running back that we'll probably see maybe 10, 15 times, depending on the, the way this game plays out, will be LeBron Fields. Uh, 5'10", 180-pound Richard freshman, 44 touches, 234 yards, and a touchdown on the ground attack. Uh, Latavius Johnson will also be involved in the running attack. He's at 57, 223, and two touchdowns. Defensively for KCU across the front, Antoine McCary, Chris Draper, Deshaun Hill, Kendall P Packer, uh, those are the four that we'll see up front in the linebacking unit. A mixture of Ethan Owens, Jacoby Emery, Devin Backus, and Jacob Wright. On the outside edges and the safeties, Jacoby North, Gerald Palmer, Obi Wilson, T. Michael Shellman, and Linton Horn. Offensively for the Knights, Justin White, the, uh, the senior out of El Paso, Texas. About a 50% completion rating, 1,353 yards, 10 touchdowns and seven interceptions. Uh, he uh, was uh, for 190 yards on 17 of 34 passing last week with a touchdown, no picks. He's got Jordan Brown, the big, red, the big freshman out of Knoxville, Tennessee, who is uh, rapidly approaching 1,000 yards on the season, currently at 694. Uh, last week, 23 carries for 142 yards and a touchdown. And then the receivers on the outside edges that he'll be looking to, Jalen Fortune, Diego Soto, Richmond Sims, and uh, Mike Adams, and, of course, a pair of uh, – tight ends that work like wide receivers at time of Sean Ray and Luke Borelli. Let's take our final break. When we come back, we'll be ready for kickoff. KCU and Bluefield on our gloomy day in Grayson. That's as we continue here on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way. In Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open Tres Hermanos Nunez. Knights have won the toss and have elected to receive here this afternoon as we're about ready to play some football, but we've yet to have the national anthem. Usually that's around the eight-minute mark. I'm guessing we're running a little tardy, and that's what they are going to do now. So we'll step aside for a two-minute break when we return. Kickoff, KCU and Bluefield on the Kowitz, My Town TV Sports Network. 
Oh no, when that happens, bring your vehicle to Monroe Collision, where owner Kevin Monroe will discuss how best to repair your damage. Let Kevin tell you about their pre-work process and how Monroe Collision will work with your insurance company directly to get you back into your vehicle much sooner. Kevin makes it easy to do because he cares about you and will get you back on the road happy and with a lifetime warranty. Stop by their convenient locations, Sportsman, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb. Your country Chevrolet and Grayson need your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Your country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us 606-474-5116. Pure Country Chevrolet find new roads. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Ready for football here between KCU and Bluefield. KCU comes in with a record of three and four. Bluefield at three and five. As we look at the weather for this afternoon's contest, current conditions 54 degrees. Should see around 57, 58 possible. Very little wind to speak of out of the east northeast as that's coming out of the end zone to my right, closest to the baseball field. But uh, rain has subsided for the moment. Uh, we do expect to see rain back in the forecast uh, throughout the afternoon. As this is the one lull that we expect to see. Riley Stubbs ready to kick this one away. Back deep for the Knights, Jalen Fortune and Richmond Sims. Stubbs will kick it from right to left as I view it. Here's his approach, the kick. Down the center of the field, Fortune backs up, takes it at the four. Right down the center of the field he comes, 15-20, angles into the middle of the field, crosses uh, across the 25, and gets out to about the 26-yard line. And that's where Justin White and the Knights will set up first and 10. Fourteen fifty-five to go in the opening quarter. White in a pistol look with Jordan Brown directly behind him. Two receivers right, one left. Man goes in motion. That's Fortune. The turn to give to Brown. Brown met in the backfield and is swallowed up, making the hit off of the edge. There is Kayshawn Rigdal. See where they're going to spot the football. Looks like they're going to move it back to the 24, so a loss of two on the play. Rigg will come in with only a half of a tackle for loss on the season, and he gets a big one there to start the football game. Brown goes into the right pocket now. White from the gun, trips left, one right. White wants to throw, pocket collapsing, steps up, trying to get free, and he gets gang tackled off the edge. The last man coming off of the pile was Logan Patron. KCU's offense going backward as White gets driven to the turf back at the 20 on a loss of four. So 
So third down, 16 for KCU. First minute of action has passed through, and Knights offense has looked lethargic at best. Here's White from the gun. Blitz coming off the edge. White flying it out to the near sideline, trying to go to Jalen Fortune on the near side. In coverage was Trey Mile Cash. Pass falls incomplete, well long, and a quick three and out. Back deep to receive for Bluefield as at his own 45-yard line is Antonio Strickland and Paul Rodriguez out for the punting duties after doing a superb job last week, averaging nearly 36 yards a kick. He goes with an end-over-end -end kick. Strickland comes up, takes it at his own 49, and then is shoved out of bounds on the near side by Ethan Owens. Where did he step out is the question. Looks like they're going to put him at the 45 of the Knights. So a short field with 13.30 to go in the first quarter for the Bluefield Rams. Two receivers each way from Hershey's from the gun. He hands it off to his big fullback as that's Latavius Johnson, a penalty marker flies at the end. He gets across the 40 to the 38. And White Hat get a personal foul on a face mask on the back end of this. So from the 39, so a gain of six and then a 15-yard penalty on the back end of it. Should make it first and 10 from the 24, and it does. So the first first down of the ball game. Twin set Johnson in the left pocket of Herstich from the gun. He'll give it off to Johnson again. He starts right, comes back left, right up the seam. He goes down to the 20-yard line. Jumping on his back, there's Deshaun Hill, the senior out of Fresno, California. Gain of four on the play, brings up second down and six. So expecting a team to come out and throw the football, and so far it's been the big bowling ball of Latavius Johnson, 230-pound tailback that's had both plays. They're going to throw it on this play. Pressure coming off the edge, lobbing it toward the back of the end zone, and they've got their man there for the touchdown. That's Antonio Strickland on the post round as – he reaches up and hauls it in for the 20-yard score. And 12.45 to go in the first quarter. And it is 6-0 Bluefield. Extra point attempt is pure, and it's 7-0 Bluefield in front. Back for more after this on the Cool Hits, My Town TV Sports Network. Quality Marathon Gasoline, great monthly specials on snacks and beverages, and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Your country Chevrolet and Grayson needs your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Your country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us 606-474-5116. Pure Country Chevrolet. Find new roads. Well, three plays, 45 yards, and 45 seconds off the clock. And a touchdown strike to Antonio Strickland makes it 7 nothing. 
Ball scooped up on the near sideline by Obi Wilson. Wilson with a nice little shifty move at the 30, comes near sideline, is chased out of bounds up near midfield. So good return there by Wilson as he'll take it out to the Knights 45. And that's where KCU sets up shop down by seven here early on. So White with a double barrel shotgun look now with Sims going in deep motion. White gives it off to Brown. Brown trying to stretch it to the outside edge. He's got a head of steam midfield. Hunter hurdles a guy at the 45 and dives out to the 40. Nice run there by Jer Jordan Brown. A gain of 15 on the play and a first down for the Knights. Soto and Fortune wide left. Adams boundary right. Borelli in as the tight end. Brown will now move to the pistol on first and 10 from the near side hash mark for White. Five hats across the line for the Rams. They'll give it off to Brown. Brown off to the left side this time. And he's upended short of the line of scrimmage. He's going to lose a yard on the play. Coming up and making the stop was Kadarius Finazzi. So a loss of one makes it second down and 11. Trips right, one left now. Brown now comes to the right side of White from the gun. The snap, the give to Brown. Brown met in the hole at the original line of scrimmage. The pile falls forward with a little bit of assistance of Isaac Ramirez from the left guard position as Brown will take it down to the 38 of the Rams and it sets up third down and eight. Adams and Fortune near side, Ray and Soto far side. Two deep safety look on third down and eight. White wants to throw, plenty of time, comes across, got his man there of Micah Adams who crosses the 30 and makes the catch and will move the sticks for another KCU first down. Perfectly delivered ball and Adams knew he was going to take the pop on the back end of it and hauls it in as it's down to the Bluefield 28-yard line. That's a gain of 10 and a KCU first down. 10.31 to go here in the opening quarter. 7-0 Bluefield. Dylan Fees in as an H back, and now two tight end set as he and Borelli move to the left side. Pistol formation, handoff to Griffin. Griffin trying to tiptoe to the outside edge, and he gets nowhere. Finazzi comes up and takes him off his feet for a loss on first down. They'll take him back to the 31-yard line on a loss of three. Kadarius Finazzi, 5'10", 160-pound senior, 62 tackles on the season from his secondary position out there in the safety. Adams and Fortune wide right this time. Soto left. Griffin stays in the backfield down to the left pocket of White from the gun. Play action. White throws it across the middle, and it's tipped and picked off. Finazzi on a double tip to himself from the 15, hauls it in at the 10. His first interception of the year, and the Knights stall out here with a picked pass on their second possession of the ball game. Kadarius Finazzi. will go down at the 10-yard line with 9.35 to play here in the first on a stalled-out drive, but now the Rams start with the shadow of their own end zone on their back. Handoff, Johnson tries to bounce it to the outside edge, and there is nothing there. Jacoby Emery in on the stop. Call it a gain of one, second down and nine. Second 
Herstich wants to throw on second down, slings it across the middle. He's got his man there, Matt Trevelyan, who makes the catch, spins, does a somersault, almost a cartwheel, if you will, crosses the 20 and moves the sticks for another Bluefield first down. Take him out to the 22-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Rain really coming down now. As this is the set that's supposed to pretty much settle in for the rest of the game. Johnson in the right pocket of Herstich from the gun. Pressure coming up the middle. Floats it out to the far sideline. Herstich is dumped by Chris Draper. Pass falls well incomplete into the Bluefield bench far sideline. Second down and 10. Clock resting. 8.38 to go here in the first. Two receivers each way. Johnson in the right pocket. Here's a handoff quick to Johnson. He slips through the second level, and he's across the 30 out to the 35 and another first down for Bluefield. Gain of 13 on the play. Bluefield lines up, wants to go quickly as the rain beats down. They'll give it off to Johnson. Johnson ahead of steam. And that 235-pound frame pushing it out to the 39-yard line on a gain of four on first down. Eight minutes to go first quarter. 7-0 Bluefield here on a rainy afternoon in Greeson. Rams ready to go quickly. Once again, ball far side hash mark. Four hats across the line. Corner blitz coming. They'll bring it near side out to Antonio Strickland. He had it. Linton Horn was in the area for coverage. The pass falls incomplete. Brings up third down and six. Clock resting 7.48 to go first frame. Beautiful scenery across the way of the fall-like foliage of what we've watched this season turn from green to now mostly oranges and yellows with a little bit of greenery still left there. But for the most part, fall has arrived here in Grayson. Empty set this time for Hersich. There's that's uh, a false start, but was he drawn off? Is the question. And now they'll get the false start as K as KCU jumped and got the man to go, so the false start will back it up and make it third down and eleven for the Rams. Bluefield 40% on third down conversions this season, 49 of 121. And with the way they sling it around, there is no pass play that's out of their realm. Gage Chambers enters the game. They're going to go on a four-receiver set near sideline. Play clock is at seven. Empty set again from Herstich. He'll take it on five. Slings it to the far sideline, has his man there, but he's well short of the sticks as he's slung out of bounds into the Rams bench, as that is Jaquan Ebron who makes the grab. And let's see where they're going to take him out to the 41, so a gain of seven. So the defense holds on the far side and forces a punting situation. Tanner Griffith out to kick it away. Richmond Sims back deep to return. Not a good kick as it will take a Bluefield bounce, though, at the 30. Tumble across the 20, the 15, down to the 10. They're blowing on it, trying to roll it just a little bit further, and they get it all the way down to the 8. <laughs> 51-yard punt, no return. 7.03 to go here in the first quarter. And KCU, again, in its worst field position, and for that matter, both teams' worst field position of the ballgame thus far, takes over with the shadow of its own end zone on its back. White from the gun, two receivers wide right, one left. Brown in his right pocket. On first down, they'll give it off to Brown. Brown up the middle. Crosses the 10, loses his helmet as he's tackled from behind and gets out to the 13, I believe. He 
Yes, after the 13 on a gain of five. Second down five. Brown has to come off for one play. He's replaced in the backfield by Jarrett Hampton, the freshman out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Tez Coleman in on the far side slot now. He goes in motion. White from the gun on second down. Gives it off to Hampton. Hampton, a little stutter step in the hole. Pyle still trying to drive forward as he crosses over the 15. And depending on forward progress is where we will get the football spotted as he comes off. Brown back in. So out to the 17 on a gain of four. So make it third down and one or a long or a short two, depending on where you look at it. That's out at the 16 now, excuse me. So they call it a gain of three, so third and two. One high safety now coming in. They give it off to Brown. Brown stutter steps, comes off right tackle and gets the 20, and that'll move the sticks for a KCU first down. Gate of four on the play. Luke Borelli comes off. Micah Adams starts wide right. Tess Coleman on this side as well. It's Soto and Ray on the far side. 540 on a rolling clock, 7-0 Bluefield here early on on a rainy afternoon in Grayson. Pistol look on first down from the Knights' 20-yard line. Three hats across the line for the Rams. White turns, gives it off to on a play action, keeps it, rolls out, pressure coming from behind, takes it to the far sideline looking for Diego Soto. And the closest man there was Bluefield's Marek Banks. As the pass falls incomplete, brings up second down. Five nineteen to go first quarter. KCU looking for points after giving up a very quick drive to the Rams, only 45 seconds on three plays. And Hersich finds Antonio Strickland for the touchdown. That was Hersich's 30th touchdown on the season. Second down and 10. Man goes in motion. That's Ray. He'll give it off to Brown. Brown tries to bounce it out to the left side, hurdles a man at the 20 and falls forward out toward the 25. He'll get the 24. Gain of force brings up third down and six. Five minutes to go in the opening quarter. And this is the top of drives that KCU needs to sustain to keep that offense for Bluefield stuck on the sidelines. That's averaging nearly 500 yards a game. They're with 66 on two possessions thus far. Third and six, a big one here. Bluefield loading the line, showing blitz. They send the house. Wide hit as he throws the ball, trying to come to Micah Adams near sideline. Adams was held up coming out of his cut by Ryan Smith. No flag flies. Pass falls incomplete and brings up fourth down. So Strickland once again will be able to start near midfield. Paul Rodriguez will look to try to boom one over top of his head if possible or not allow him to scoop it up and try to get the sideline and set up an even better field position. Strickland is daring Rodriguez to kick it over his head. He's only standing at midfield. High snap to Rodriguez. End over end kicked, angled away from Strickland that does get a KCU bounce, crosses midfield and tumbles out of bounds at the Rams 39 yard line. So a 37 yard punt, no return. 4.30 to go, first quarter, 7-0 Bluefield. So Nathan Hersich, red shirt freshman, averaging nearly 327 yards a game. He's thrown it five times thus far. He wants to throw it on first down. He slings it deep on a deep post route into triple coverage, and his man is there and makes the catch. Jaquan Ebron in triple coverage, hauls it in at the 10. He's down near the five, first and goal, Bluefield. 
They're going to put him down at the seven. That's a gain of 54 on the play. And that quickly, Bluefield knocking on the end zone door again. And a timeout requested by KCU back in 60 seconds on the cool. It's My Town TV Sports Network. Stealth Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stealth Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Green and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stealth Pharmacy in Green and Wheelersburg and McDonald Pharmacy, James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Adults Pharmacy. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb. First and goal from the seven for the Bluefield Rams, leading 7-0, looking for more. Twin set, blitz coming. They give it off to Johnson, and he's met at the line as big Deshaun Hill jumps on his back. He'll get a gain of a yard down to the six. Second and goal. Inside of four minutes to go in the first quarter, Bluefield up 7-0, looking for some more. Johnson in the right pocket this time. Wants to throw, pressure coming. They sling it out on a quick out to the man on the slot, and they hook up for the touchdown. As that's Strickland, who calls in his second touchdown grab of the ball game. This one from six yards out, 3.37 to go in the first quarter. Bluefield's in front, 13-0. Joey Dale's out for the extra point attempt. Ball is back, it's down, it's up, and good. 14-0 Bluefield back for more after this on the Cool It's My Town TV Sports Network. When you're in a vehicle accident, Monroe's Collision wants you to know you do have a choice where you take it. Monroe Collision's technicians will repair your vehicle back to factory specifications using the highest quality parts, materials, and equipment, and they take pride in restoring your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Choose Monroe Collision, where they handle all aspects of your claim. Stop by the convenient locations, Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, and Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Three plays, 61 yards, 53 seconds. And Hersich hits Strickland for his second time in the ballgame. 14-0 is our score. Sims from his 10, far sideline, 15, 20, 25, and then is brought down after crossing the 30-yard line. Put him at the 32, so first and 10 nights. As KCU finds itself in a daunting hole to a team that likes to sling it around with the best. And they've got two drives that have gone to, in, to the end zone, both three play drives and a 14-0 lead. White from the gun on first down. Play action, zips this one out to Soto. Soto on a little bubble screen. Catches it at the 30, cuts to the outside edge, and gets across the 40 out to the 41, 42-yard line. Gain of nine on the play, second and one.
Two receivers each way. White from the gun puts a man in motion, gives it off to Brown. This is a penalty marker from the near sideline. I believe this is going to be an illegal procedure. And now they're going to get encroachment on Bluefield. So make it first and ten on the penalty and move the sticks for a KCU first down. So move the football out to the 46-yard line. Two receivers each way. Soto and Ray on the boundary left. Fortune and Adams right. Pistol look for Brown. Ray goes in motion on a deep end around. Play action. They bring it out to Ray. And Ray's going to throw it to Micah Adams, and he's wide open down the backside. He catches it at the 22. He's down inside the 20 near the 15. You can see that play developing, and Micah Adams gets over top of the defense and holds it in for a big gain down to the 15-yard line of the Rams, first and 10. Perfectly executed play. Two receivers left, one right, an attached tight end on the left. Brown in the left pocket of White from the gun on first down. The take to give to Brown. Brown finds a seam right up the gut. He goes. He's inside the 10, pushing down near the 5. They'll give him the 6. So a gain of 9 brings up second down and 1. And the Knights needing points in the worst way as we're inside of 2 minutes to go here in the first quarter. Down 14 nothing. Soto and Fortune left. Adams right. That's the boundary. Dylan Feast is an H-back. Pistol look now for White on second and one. The snap, the turn, the give. They'll give it off to Brown. Brown sheds a tackle in the hole as he'll get to the five. So a gain of one moves the sticks and makes it first and goal. Third first down on the drive. So we approach one minute to go in the frame. As the offense turns, looks to the sideline as we'll cross the one-minute mark on this snap. Same set except for Feast will attach as a tight end on the left side this time. Brown goes into the left pocket now. Play clock under 10 at now 7 and 6. The take, the give to Brown. Brown angling right. He's in for 6. Touchdown, KCU. Jordan Brown scampers in from 5 yards out as he rushes in for his 7th score of the season. 46 seconds to go in the first quarter. The Knights are on the scoreboard. So Rodriguez out for the extra point attempt. Inacio to hold it. Kick is up. And is good. 14 to 7. Knights trail up by 7. Back for more after this on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, equal housing lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts, and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Six plays, 68 yards, two minutes, 45 seconds off the clock, and Jordan Brown goes in from five yards out, 14 to seven. Bluefield now leads only by seven. Rain has stopped for the moment. Now the Rams looking to see if they can get a little more 
from the play. Here's a ball that is live as it bounces off the foot of a player at the 30-yard line. He scoops it up and is finally gang tackled after getting across the 40 as Jaden Campbell, I believe, was the man that scooped. So again, Bluefield's going to have a short field to work with. as they'll have it out at their own 40-yard line. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Two receivers each way from Hersich from the gun. Wants to throw on first down, zips it across the middle. He's got Matt Trevelyan there on a quick slant. He's in two Knights territory. Stiff arms at the 45 and across the 40 down near the 38. So a gain of 22 on the play. And that quickly, Bluefield is into Knights territory. Here's another handoff to Johnson. Johnson slips a tackle, 35 across the 30, falls forward after being tackled from behind by Kendall Packer. They'll take him down to the 27-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Two plays, two first downs. And that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. Bluefield in front of KCU, 14-7. Second quarter is up when we return after this on the Quits cool Bytown TV Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members' Choice Credit Union today. Members' Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. 14 to 7 as we welcome you in to quarter number two. James Carr, happy to have you along with us here this evening as it's first and 10 for the Rams. Hurstich wants to throw, coming near sideline, looking for Ebron, and that ball is knocked away, but a penalty marker flies at the end. It's going to be pass interference as it was well defended by KCU's Myron Billings, but a little handsy there at the end. And we'll get a, purse, a pass interference penalty against KCU. Let's see where they take the football down to. It should go down from the 27 to the 12. And it'll be first and 10. Another first down, the third on the drive. Two receivers each way from Hershich from the gun. Knights need to find a stop here. Hershich makes a play call change. And the penalty marker flies before they get it away. And now we get an offsides on Bluefield. So make it first down and 15. Move it back to the Knights 17. Ball on the far side, hash mark, going toward the end zone closest to the baseball field. Two receivers each way. Johnson in the right pocket of Hersich from the gun. Hersich wants to throw. Pressure coming off the edge. Throws a dart right across the middle. He's got his man there of Strickland once again. As he rifled that one in there. 
And it's down to near the goal line. It may actually be at the one. So put it down at the one on first and goal. Fourth first down of the drive. And let's see if Big Johnson gets it on this carry. No, they're going to sling it. Bring it to Ebron near sideline. He goes up and makes the one-handed grab. Does he maintain possession? They said he did. Touchdown, Bluefield. So Jaquan Ebron hauls it in for his first grab in the end zone of the afternoon. His 14th of the season. And that quickly, with 14-21 to go in the first half, Bluefield's lead is now 20 to 17 with an extra point on the way from Joey Dales. Ball is back, it's down, it's up, it's good. It's 21 to seven. Back for more after this on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members' Choice Credit Union today. Members' Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, equal housing lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts, and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Four plays, 60 yards, a minute 19 that it takes Bluefield to go to the end zone for the third time this afternoon. This time, Hersich going to Ebron, and the lead's back to 14 for the visiting Rams. Low lie drive kickoff, fielded by Wilson on the far sideline at the eight, cuts back into the center of the field, crosses the 20 to the 25, tries to spin at the 30, and that's where he's brought down. And it'll be first and 10 for the Knights. Let's put it at the 31 and offense back on the field. If you think we've seen the last of scoring in this football game, you better think again. There may be smoke rolling out of this scoreboard by the time the day's over with. Bluefield has no intentions of trying to slow anybody down. It's, they're going to try to outscore you at every opportunity they have. And they've done so, so far with 21 points through the, about the first 16 minutes of play. Here's a handoff on the far sideline. As that's out to... I'm guessing Gerald Daniels, again a player on player on the roster, not or not on the roster, I should say. Gain of two brings up second down and eight. Daniels starts in the left pocket, and there's motion. There's penalty markers flying everywhere, and a false start on KCU. So move it back, make it second and 15. Check it at second and 13, my mistake. Handoff, up the gut it goes off the far side seam. And a little bit of gain past the original line of scrimmage by Gerald Daniels, as they'll give him the 33. That's a gain of five, and brings up third down and eight. KCU on the afternoon, two of four on third down conversions. Two receivers each way, white from the gun. Daniels stays in. Bluefield loading the line, showing blitz. Now they back the linebackers out, and they've only got three hats across the line. Play clock down to five. White takes it on three. 
Pressure coming off the edge. He's got plenty of time to throw. Finds his man in the sim, sim of Sims, excuse me. No, check that. That's Fortune at the 40. And he makes the grab and turns upfield and gets it out to the 45-yard line on a gain of 12 and a fresh set of downs for KCU. Adams and Fortune far sideline. Sims and Soto near sideline. Jordan Brown back in the game. Sims goes in motion from near side to far. They'll give it off to Brown, and Brown met in the hole as there was nothing there as Demarcus Wimbush, the graduate student out of the linebacking corps, meets him in the hole. No gain on the play, second down and 10. Bluefield with 177 total yards of offense, KCU 99. Twin set, near side hash mark, Brendan Ray in a deep motion. White slings it out to Ray, and this time he can't make the connection as the pass falls incomplete, brings up third down. It was a forward pass. They were trying to sling it back to him on a, on a swing route, but White's pass was well off the mark, and Ray had never gotten around the edge to be able to get to it. Clock resting, excuse me, 11.42 to go in the second quarter. Bluefield up 21-7 and trying to get the football back here again. Third down and 10 for the Knights. White, plenty of time. Now the pocket collapses, rolling out left, surveying, and just throws it out of bounds over top of the medical tent and brings it fourth down. Penalty marker flies at the end. And let's see what we get from our referee, Scott Moore. He's looking toward Dewey Lusk. I believe we're going to get a hold that's going to be declined. And it is. The umpire for today is Paul Print. Head uh, linesman is Nathan Francis. The line judge is Cameron Abel. Field judge Lane Hughes. Side judge Matt Young. And the umpire is Ethan Gunter. So Casey, you will have to punt it away. As back deep now for Bluefield is Tyler Sedlock. Let's we'll see if Paul Rodriguez can hang a big one here and push the Rams back a little deeper than midfield of where they've been able to get to. They're coming after this one. That ball was blocked. It was tipped, and it's a live ball. And now the ball was tipped. KCU's got the football. Trying to recover it was Bluefield. KCU picks it up on the tip. Now they have to come together and say, did they touch it? It was Bryce Humphreys that grabbed the football. The meeting of the minds will come together. That ball was clearly tipped by Bluefield. That is a live football in possession of KCU. And they're going to say no. And they're going to need to watch that one on replay. That ball was touched all day today and twice on Sunday. So let's see where they're going to put the football now. As we juggle a football through three officials six feet apart from each other, they'll place the football on the field at the 36 of the Rams. So a big missed opportunity there possibly for KCU. So with 11.25 to go in the half, Here's Johnson, starts right, comes back left. Very little there as he'll get the 37. Yes, only a gain of a yard. Be second down to nine. Two receivers each way. Ball near side hash mark. Hersich from the gun. Slings it out to the near sideline of Gage Chambers. Chambers makes a man miss, hits the B button, tight ropes the sideline, and gets across midfield into KCU territory. Poor tackling on that one. As Chambers takes it 
down to the 47 on a gain of 16 and a first down for Bluefield. 12th first down of the ball game for the Rams as the skies look like they're trying to clear a bit. Still gray and gloomy, blitz coming. Hersich slings it near sideline, had his man there of Zerio Ebron, but it falls incomplete, brings up second down and 10, clock resting 10.23 to go before halftime. Pass going to the far side. He's got his man there who makes the grab. That's Ebron. He makes the catch at the 25, spins out of the tackle, gets the sideline, and they're going to take him down to the 10, and that's going to set it up first and goal. That's a gain of 37 on the play. And then a KCU personal foul is going to add what should be five yards to that. Now they're going to take him actually inside the 10 to the 8. So that'll take it down to the 4. So first and goal from the 4 now. The quick give to Johnson, and he pinballs off his own lineman and is driven backward for a loss. Good press up front by Antoine McCary, the junior out of Birmingham. Loss for one yard. Makes it second and five, 9.48 to go first half. Defense needs to stand tall right here, already down two scores, and Bluefield looking for some more. They'll sling it on a back shoulder fade, coming to Chambers near side. That ball was uncatchable. It's out of bounds, third down. Third down and goal. Hersich surveys, plants, throws it toward the back of the end zone, has his man there, and he fights through the contact and holds it in for the score. Matt Trevilian with the touchdown. What a great reception there by the senior. His first touchdown of the afternoon. And with 9.29 to go before halftime, Bluefield's on the scoreboard again. It's 27 to 7. Low snap, kick is up, and a low line drive kick that gets across the upright and makes it 28 to 7 with 9.29 to go in the first half. Back for more after this on the Quartz My Town TV Sports Network. At SOMC, it's happening. Now the SOMC Patient Portal app puts managing your health care right in your hands. You can request appointments with a simple touch of a screen, quickly and easily get a refill of your prescriptions, make online bill payments, direct message your SOMC provider, and even have safe and convenient virtual visits just about anywhere. The Patient Portal app at Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. Quality Marathon Gasoline, great monthly specials on snacks and beverages, and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Seven plays, 64 yards, one minute, 54 seconds off the clock. And a 28-7 lead for Bluefield over KCU. Kickoff backs up. The return man of Hampton to the four. He comes across the far sideline, 15-20. 
KCU with its back against the wall. Down by 21 here in the first half. Stay tuned with me at the break. We'll check all the scoring and stats from this one. Scores from around the area in top 25 action. A little bit of sunshine trying to peek through the clouds here. What was supposed to have been much of a cloudy and rainy afternoon. White from the gun from his own 21 to start the drive. Pumps looks far sideline, goes up toward Micah Adams, and that one was airmailed over top of his head a good 10 yards. Pass falls incomplete, brings up second down and 10. KCU has just looked all kinds of discombobulated in this ball game. Trips come to the wide side left. Sims, Coleman, and Soto. White comes across the middle, has Sims there on a diving catch at the 35. They'll say he was down where he made contact to haul it in. But Richmond Sims, the freshman from Rome, Georgia, hauls it in at the 34-yard line. That's a gain of 13, and it'll move the sticks for a KCU first down. White wants to throw. He has his man there of Coleman. That one's thrown into the hands of the DB as he threw that one right into his man's hands of Bluefield on the near sideline as Charles Cox on that deep safety position picks off his first pass of the season, the second by White in the ball game. And Charles Turner Cox returns it all the way down to the 32 of the Knights. A return of 26 yards, 8.46 to go before halftime, and Bluefield looking for more. Nathan Hersich already four touchdown passes in this ball game. He's got two receivers each way on a boundary right setting. Wants to throw on first down, looks across the middle, floating it toward his man there. And the penalty marker flies. He was looking for Zurio Ebron. And a little bit of assistance there from the defense trying to hold him back as reaching out and grabbing hold of his jersey was Obi Wilson. And he's going to pick up the pass interference call against him. Second one we've seen in the ball game. So move it forward 15 yards and... A first down, sets it up at the 17-yard line. Officials keep passing the football around like it's hot potato. First and 10. From the 17 of the Knights, blitz coming and a big hit coming off the edge. As flying in untouched was Jacquees Murphy, the sophomore from Montgomery, Alabama. A big play there by the defense. As they drop him back to the 21 and a loss of four. Approaching eight minutes to go here in the first half. Two receivers left, one right. Johnson, now check that a twin set now. Is, they want to throw again. They'll sling it out to the far sideline. They've got their man there of Trevelyan who hauls it in at the 15. So a gain of six sets up third down and eight. Bluefield today has only attempted three third down conversions in which they are one of three on that mark. Nathan Hersich, 187 yards and four touchdowns. They've got a quad stack receiver set on the near sideline. Hersich wants to throw, looking left. Now he slings it sidearm across the middle of the field. 
It was intended for Matt Trevilian, well defended by Devin Backus. It'll bring up fourth down. So the defense stands tall and will force it a field goal attempt from Joey Dales, who is perfect on the season of four for four, his longest of 35. They'll spot this one at the 22, so make it a 32-yard kick from the far side hash mark with very little wind blowing, barely at his back. Griffin to put it down. Kick is up and is good, and it's 31-7 with 7.17 to go in the first half. Back for more after this on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Your country Chevrolet and Grayson needs your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Your country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us 606-474-5116. Your country Chevrolet. Find new roads. Well, a defensive stop limits the damage to only three, but Bluefield's lead continues to explode. They now have it out to 31 to seven, with 7:17 to go before halftime. Dales booms this one into the end zone for the touchback. And KCU will start from their own 25, down a bunch. Big shout out to the family of Ethan Owens. Got us tuned in this afternoon all the way out in Cali. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and hitting me up on Twitter. So KCU will have it from their own 25, 717 to go in the ball game. Or excuse me, in the first half. Twin set for White. Brown is a pistol. The turn to give to Brown. Brown runs in to the big defensive nose tackle of Bluefield as George Payne delivers the pain. No gain on the play, second down. Brown has been held to 43 yards on 12 carries thus far in the ball game. White wants to throw on second down, pocket collapsing. Here it comes, and they get home. Big hit on the quarterback as Bodan Indala comes out of his hawk position and gets White for the quarterback's sack on a loss of one. And Justin White has just not looked settled today. Five of 12 for 44 yards and two interceptions. They'll go third and 11 with a trips right, one left. That's Soto. Edge blitz being shown by Bluefield, and here it comes. Quick out. Ball was tipped at the line, looking for Soto near sideline, and a very quick three and out again for KCU. 5.59 on a rested clock here in the first half. Bluefield's going to get the football back and an opportunity at a two for one as they get the football to start the second half as well. So Tyler Sedlock standing at his own 43, walking up to the 44. Rodriguez stands at his own five to boot it away. Gets this one away. A wobbly kick coming toward the KCU sideline. It will take a Knights bounce, but it doesn't make it to midfield. And Bluefield will start in KCU territory near midfield at the Knights 46. 5.49 to play first half. Wow. 
And Nathan Hersich and the offense of the Rams looking for the end zone. They're going to go in that quad stack on the far side this time. One receiver on the boundary right. Hersich slings it out to Strickland. Strickland makes the grab, a little dance move. Tries to go with a jump cut, and Ethan Owens wraps him up at the 45 and drops him backward. Devin Back is also in on the stop. So only a gain of one yard on the play. Makes a second down and nine. They go four receivers wide right this time, one left, empty set for Hersich from the gun on second and nine. Hersich looks left, floats it out on the far sideline, trying to get his man there on a go round of Ebron. In coverage down the far sideline was Gerald Palmer, third and nine. Clock resting, 5.05 to go before halftime, nose of the football. On the 45-yard line of the Knights, far sideline hash marks. Trips right to left, empty set from Hertzich from the gun on third down. Clean pocket, fires it across the middle into triple coverage and it's picked off. Linton Horn has it, he's got some blockers out in front, slips a tackle midfield, he's got the sideline and Ebron chases him down. But Linton Horn picks off his third ball of the season back at the 25 yard line. And the 10th pick of the season on Nathan Hersich's side proves to be big for KCU as Linton Horn takes it down into Rams territory. They're gonna put him, I believe at the 43. Still waiting to place the football on the field. That's where the official is standing. So a 31-yard interception return, 4.52 to go in the half. And a big play on the defense gives KCU its best field position, needing some points before halftime. Pistol look, the turn to give to Brown. Brown tries to bounce it to the outside, and he does nothing but Bounce it right into the defensive linebacking position of Demarcus Wimbush, the 240-pound graduate student who leads the team in tackles. Brown will be driven backward for a loss of three. It'll be second down and 13. Two receivers right, one left, that's Soto. White wants to throw it on second down, looks left, comes near sideline, Soto had it and had it swatted away. Heavy coverage there by Markel Banks, third down and 13. Clock resting, 4.10 to go. And this is something KCU just certainly does not want to do, get a big turnover and then have a three and out with less than a minute off the clock. Two receivers each way, Soto and Ray on the near side. Now Ray goes in motion from near side to far. Pressure coming up the middle. They zing it across the middle. That's Fortune who makes a great catch, a spin move. Cuts to the outside edge seam. Spins at the 25 and then is driven down from behind by Charles Cox. But a nice catch and run after the play by Jalen Fortune as KCU converts on third down and takes it down to the 24-yard line. That's a gain of 22 on the play. Three forty to go in the half. Brown in the right pocket of White from the gun and a twin set on the boundary right. White wants to throw it on first down, airing it out to the far sideline, looking for his man there of Micah Adams, but it's a little bit too far. It falls incomplete, second and 10. 3.34 to go in the half. This is a Bluefield team that has allowed 530 yards average, 212 on the game of rushing. And in this one thus far, KCU's been held to a minuscule 129 yards of total offense and only... 46 on the ground. 
And now an official timeout. They're going to tell them to re to fix the clock as the pass wasn't in completion. So they're going to put 334 back on the clock, which is showing 329 currently. Sometimes it's a, it is a task to get the clock reset here at, at Knight Stadium. There we go. So second down and 10 from the 24, the Rams, the Knights with a football, down 31 to 7. Fortune goes in deep motion. White, pressure coming off the edge, dumps it on a screen pass to Brown. Brown following big Isaac Ramirez off the right side, crosses the 20 and gets down near the 15. They'll put it at the 17, a gain of seven. That brings up third down and three. Two tight end set coming in. As Borelli and Ray will come in, Adams comes off. We'll cross the three-minute mark on this play. Knights need points and a big stand going in to limit the damage to what it is currently. They're down 24, 31 to 7 here in the first half on this only one more home game to go after this one. And that's the senior day game coming up against Reinhardt. Third and third and three. Handoff Brown. No play action. White makes a man miss. Looks in the back of the end zone. Got his man there of Diego Soto on the post route for the score. Touchdown, Knights. 17-yard pitch and catch on a beautiful play by Justin White as he made a man miss. And then threw a dart to Soto in the back of the end zone for the six. Four plays, 43 yards, two minutes, 14 seconds off the clock. Rodriguez out for the extra point. It's down, it's up, it's blocked. It was blocked by Kandarius Finese. So 31 to 13 as we have 238 left to go in the half. Quality we'll Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Your country Chevrolet and Grayson needs your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Your country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us 606-474-5116. Your country Chevrolet, Find new roads. So the extra point is blocked. And as we've seen so many times in the way these things play out, points at early positions in the game can be so huge in the grand scheme of things at the end. But as it is right now, it's... 31-13 in favor of the visiting Rams. As they'll go with a kickoff on the near sideline, that's a little dribbler that goes across midfield. Scooped up by Michael Banks. And he'll bring it back out near midfield. And I will tell you where it is as soon as they put a football somewhere on the field that we can use. I'm going to put it at the 44 of the Rams. Now check that. Now they've moved it up to the 49. How hard is it to put a football on the field? Either way, here we go. 
Handoff Johnson. Johnson with a steam of head. Met at midfield. Runs right into big Antoine McCary. Mm, call it a gain of one. And KCU will burn a timeout. Back in 60 seconds on the Kowitz My Town TV Sports Network. When you're in a vehicle accident, Monroe's Collision wants you to know you do have a choice where you take it. Monroe Collision's technicians will repair your vehicle back to factory specifications using the highest quality parts, materials, and equipment, and they take pride in restoring your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Choose Monroe Collision, where they handle all aspects of your claim. Stop by their convenient locations, Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, and Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. 31-13, Bluefield leading KCU here on Military Appreciation Day. We'll sling it out to the near sideline to Strickland, and Strickland right in front of Devin Backus just steps out of bounds into the KCU bench. So take it up to the 47-yard line on a gain of three. Makes it third down and six. Three receivers left, one right. Johnson stays in the backfield with Hersich from the gun. Hersich takes it on third down, slinging it out to the far sideline. He's got his man there of Strickland. And that was just a little backyard football right there. He just threw it out there and let his man run underneath it down to the 26 on a gain of 21. Casey had only been giving up an average of 314 total yards of offense in a game. They've already given up 265 to Bluefield. We're in it still in the first half. Here's Johnson. Bowling his way across the 25 to the 24. Casey, you saying the ball squirted free, thinking they had a fumble recovery, but a timeout is requested by the Knights. We're going to stay right here. Well, it's been a, uh, a shootout to say the least as it started in the first quarter. Nathan Hurstich threw his first of four touchdown passes in the game. Two of those have gone to Antonio Strickland. The first one of 20 yards. He backed it up another one with six yards. KCU answered the bell to end the first quarter. Jordan Brown goes in from five yards out. It's 14 to seven after one quarter of play. Then another pair of Hersich touchdown passes. One to Jaquan Ebron for a yard. Matthew Trevillian hauls went in from five, 28 to seven with 9.29 to go in the half. The Rams have to go for a field goal on their next drive after KCU's defense holds at the goal line. So a 32-yard field goal from Joey Dales is good. 7-17 to play in the half. 31-7. Rams lead it. And then the Knights with 2.38 to go before halftime. Justin White finds Diego Soto from a 17-yard hookup. Extra point is blocked. 31-13 is our score. Ball in the the possession of the Rams. They've got it at the Knights' 24-yard line, 147 to play before halftime, and they face second down and eight. They also get the football to start the second half. Hersich from the gun, two receivers each way, wants to throw it on second down, looking near sideline. He's got his man there in soft coverage as he just floats it into Zerio Ebron on the near sideline, and Ebron moves the sticks for another Bluefield first down as he'll take it down to the 13 on a gain of 11. 17th first down of the half for Bluefield. 
Hersich now with 239 yards passing. Here's Latavius Johnson rolling off left tackle across the 10 to the 9 on a gain of 4. 90 seconds to go in the first half. 31-13 Bluefield. Who came into the ball game averaging just over 40 points a game. And they're trying to push it to near that mark here in the first half. Three receivers left, one right. That's Ebron. They'll sling it out on the go route to the far sideline. That is Eric Ebron, or Jaquan Ebron, excuse me, the brother of Eric Ebron. He can't haul it in, inbounds. Pass falls incomplete. It's third down and six. Talking with Coach Jake Russell before the game, and he was very complimentary. Even this week of, of Jaquan e. Braun, he said he knows that kid very well. He recruited him. He played against him. He coached against him. He knows all about that kid. So third down and six from the Knights' nine for the Rams. Twin set, ball between the hashes. Hersich slings it out to the far sideline. Had his man there of Matt Trevelyan. And a great play at the end as that was Ethan Owens in coverage who swatted it away. A big third down stop, and it'll set up another field goal opportunity for Bluefield, but defense stands tall at the goal line yet again, and Joey Dale's out for a field goal. He's been good from 32. This one, much a chip shot straight ahead from the 16, so a 26-yard attempt. Griffith to put it down. It's back, it's down, it's up. And it's good. 34-13, 58 seconds to go in the half. Back after this on the Kowitz My Town TV Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, equal housing lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts, and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. 34-13, our score, Bluefield in front of KCU with 58 seconds left to play in the opening half. KCU with no timeouts. So everything they do, they're going to have to do it on the field without being able to stop the clock in between the hashes. Here's Sims back at the three. Fakes the handoff, finds a seam, spins at the 25, and then is slammed to the turf at that part. So KCU has it at the 25. 52 seconds to go in the opening half and trailing by 21. Watching Paul Rodriguez in pregame, he was good from about 40 to 42 consistently. They'll start off with one receiver right, three left. That's the wide side of the field. Bluefield showing blitz. They back out and only send three. White steps up in the pocket, looks left, floats it across, and nearly picked off, but it makes it into the man of Brendan Ray down the far sideline. Threaded the needle. Charles Cox went airborne trying to pick it off and could not get it. It takes it down to the Bluefield 40 on a gain of 35. That's Ray's longest catch of the season. And it's first and 10. White with 35 seconds to go in the half. Steps up in the pocket. He's got Ray again across the middle inside the 20. Down to the 18, a gain of 22. So the Knights well in field goal range, 28 seconds go, to go in the half. White, pressure coming off the edge, looking right, going toward Jalen Fortune toward the back corner of the end zone, and it's incomplete. In coverage was Trimacle Cash. 
20 seconds to go in the half. KCU would certainly love to put a touchdown up here and cut it to a two-score game. Soto and Sims near side. Fortune Adams far side. That's the boundary right. Jordan in the left pocket of White from the gun. Bluefield showing blitz. Here it comes. White steps up and he's hit. And he goes down. Ball squirts free at the end. KCU has no way to stop the clock. They have to, they have to clock it. Clock is still running. They have to clock the football. Play clock is at, game clock is now at six. That ball is fumbled. Then White finally scoops it up and gets it down. So 4.8 seconds to go. And there's a penalty marker that is on the field. I don't know that they got set. So a loss of six on the play from the sack. And now they're going to get an illegal procedure on KCU, and that's a loss of downs. Or check that, intentional grounding on KCU. And that winds the clock. It takes us to the end of the half. So Bluefield leads at 34-13. KCU had a great opportunity snatched away after two big plays, moves it down into Bluefield territory. And then in the process, comes away with absolutely nothing. So 34-13 is your score after the first half of play. We'll step aside for a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at our scoring drives, individual scoring and statistics, scores from around college football, and get you ready for the second half of play here in Grayson. 34-13, our score. Back for more after this on the Halftime Show on the Cool Hits My Town TV Sports Network. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Greenham and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenham, Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. 34-13 at the half here on Military Appreciation Day for KCU. Several gentlemen being honored for their military service, one of those being my uncle, Mr. Larry Collier. He served in the military, as did my grandfather and one of my other uncles. We certainly appreciate all of our members of the armed forces for their service to protect our great country. Let's take you back through this when it's been an entertaining first half, to say the least, especially if you're a Rams fan, as Nathan Hersich has thrown for four touchdowns and has lit up the scoreboard for 34 first-half points. 
KCU missed a great opportunity there to close the half after two big balls from Justin White quickly moved KCU down inside the 20 of the Rams. But then a sack that was a, a devastating play to say the least where a ball that Justin White just has to throw it away. And then KCU tried to get it away. White was trying to spike the ball, fumbled it on the exchange, and then was deemed to basically throw it into the ground, which they called it an intentional grounding call, which is a loss of downs and also caused it to run off the final 10 seconds due to the penalty, which then made the time expire. So KCU did not get an opportunity at a field goal or to take a chance at the end zone, and they instead come away trailing by 21, and Bluefield gets the ball to start the second half. Let's take it back through this one. Bluefield gets the opening possession after KCU's drive stalls out, and they waste little time. Three plays, 45 yards, 45 seconds. Nathan Hurchich hits Antonio Strickland for the first of two touchdown strikes, 7-0 your score, 12.45 to play in the first. Hurchich hooks up with Antonio Strickland again, this time from six yards out. Three plays, 61 yards, only 53 seconds on time of possession, 14-0 in favor of the visiting Rams. KCU answers with 46 seconds to go in the first quarter on a six-play, 68-yard drive, two minutes, 45 seconds. Jordan Brown goes in from five yards out, his sixth rushing touchdown of the season, excuse me, seventh rushing touchdown of the season, and at the end of one quarter of play, it's 14-7 in favor of Bluefield. Hersich this time comes out to open up the second quarter, needing only 39 seconds to find Paydirt again. Jaquan Ebron hauls it in from one yard out, 21-7 with 14-21 to go before halftime. Hersich this time hooks up with Matthew Trevilian, five-yard touchdown strike with 9.29 to play before halftime, 28-7. They drive it right back down the field. A big defensive stand by the Knights forces a 32-yard field goal by Joey Dales. That made it 31-7 with 7.17 to play before halftime. KCU gets a long, sustained drive, and they find points on the other side of it. Four, four plays, 43 yards, 2 minutes, 14 seconds. And Justin White finds Diego Soto on a 17-yard strike on a post route. Extra point was blocked. That makes it 34-13, to or 31-13, to excuse me. And then with 58 seconds to play before halftime, Joey Dales hooks up on a 26-yard field goal attempt. 34-13 is our score at the half. We'll step aside for a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at individual scoring and statistics and the scores from around top 25 action in college football and get you ready for the second half of play here on Military Appreciation Day at Knight Stadium. Bluefield leading KCU 34-13 at the half. Back for more after this on the Halftime Show on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. Stop by any of the four convenient locations in Monroe Collision for an insurance estimate after an accident and let them explain how you can get back into your vehicle sooner. Owner Kevin Monroe will discuss your options in their state-of-the-art facilities. Monroe's repairs are backed by a lifetime warranty. You'll drive away protected and happy. Ask about their free loaner car. For the best in repair, see the people who care in Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. Monroe's frame and collision, our work says it all. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb, your country Chevrolet and Grayson needs your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Your country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us 606-474-5116. Pure Country Chevrolet. 
find new roads. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Oh no, when that happens, bring your vehicle to Monroe Collision, where owner Kevin Monroe will discuss how best to repair your damage. Let Kevin tell you about their pre-work process and how Monroe Collision will work with your insurance company directly to get you back into your vehicle much sooner. Kevin makes it easy to do because he cares about you and will get you back on the road happy and with a lifetime warranty. Stop by their convenient locations, Sportsman, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb. Your country Chevrolet and Grayson needs your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Your country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us 606-474-5116. Pure Country Chevrolet find new roads. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. 34-13 at the half. Bluefield leading KCU here in this 10th all-time meeting. KCU leads the series 7-2, including taking both games over the spring session when KCU elected, due to COVID, to move the season from the fall to the spring. And they won it in dominating fashion, 45 to nothing and 31-7 in Bluefield. But uh, here today they find themselves on the wrong side of the scoreboard through the first 30 minutes of action trailing by 21, and Bluefield gets the football to start the second half. Let's look at individual statistics and scoring in this one. First start with the team statistics for Bluefield. 282 yards of total offense on 38 plays. It's 7.4 per. They've gone through the air for 239, rushed for 43 more, three penalties for 15 yards. They've had one turnover. It was an interception by Linton Horn, one punt of 51 yards. They've recorded two sacks. They've had the football for only 11 minutes and 31 seconds in this ball game, but they've certainly uh, made the best of it uh, with 34 points to show for it. 17 first downs, two of seven on third down conversions. Uh, they have not attempted a fourth down try. KCU, 222 yards of offense, 42 plays, 186 through the air, only 36 on the ground. Bluefield coming in was uh, giving up a small – army of yards on the ground 212 530 through the total uh, of, of they've allowed averaging 50 points a game that they've given up but they have been stingy to say the least here in the first half of play against KCU Knights with two turnovers both of those Justin White interceptions they've punted the ball four times for an average of only 27 yards they've had the football for 17 minutes 13 first downs Five of ten on third down conversions. They've not attempted a fourth down try. Nathan Herstich, 16 of 25, 239 yards, four touchdowns and a pick. Latavius Johnson, 12 for 47. Nathan Herstich, one for minus four. Jaquan Ebron leads the way with four catches, 101 yards. That uh, backs up another 100-yard performance after catching eight passes for 199 yards last week in the win over St. Andrews. Antonio Strickland, six catches for 67, two touchdowns for him. Matthew Trevilian, four for 44, and a touchdown. 
for KCU. Justin White, 10 of 21 for 147, one touchdown and two picks. Brendan Ray threw Sean Ray, should, uh, we should say, uh, one pass for 39 yards to Micah Adams. Jordan Brown, 13 carries for 40 yards and a score. Gerald Daniels, two for seven. And Jared Hampton, one for three. Ray, two catches for 57, both on that last series that the Knights had the football that they came away empty. Mike Adams, two catches for 49. Jalen Fortune, three for 34. Diego Soto, two for 26 in the lone score uh, there just before halftime. And Jordan Brown, one for seven. Put it all together, and it's 34-13 in favor of the visiting Rams. So let's take a break. When we come back, we'll check scores around college football and get you ready for the second half of action here in at Grayson. Rams leading the Knights 34-13 at the break. Back for more after this on the Koi. It's My Town TV Sports Network. At SOMC, it's happening. Now the SOMC Patient Portal app puts managing your health care right in your hands. You can request appointments with a simple touch of a screen, quickly and easily get a refill of your prescriptions, make online bill payments, direct message your SOMC provider, and even have safe and convenient virtual visits just about anywhere. The Patient Portal app at Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in their Greenup and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service and you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup, Wheelersburg and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. 34-13 at the half, Bluefield leading KCU here on Military Appreciation Day on a cloudy and gloomy day in Grayson. Let's take a look at scores from around top 25 action in college football. Number two, Cincinnati currently leading Tulane 31-12. That game about to go final as the Bearcats are going to move to 8-0 on the season and pick up their fourth win in an AAC play. A good one on tap up in East Lansing. Number six, Michigan. Number eight, Michigan State. All knotted at 30 early fourth quarter of play with Michigan State just scoring a touchdown and a two-point conversion to even the game at 30 apiece. Late fourth quarter, Wisconsin's about to hand number nine, Iowa, its second loss of the season. They currently lead. The Badgers currently lead the Hawkeyes 27-7, 324 to play in the ballgame. Number 16, Baylor is 224 away from fending off an upset bid from Texas. They currently lead 31-24, to and they have the football there in the final two minutes of the ball game. Miami is in front of number 17, Pittsburgh, 38-34, with four minutes to go in the ball game up at Heinz Field. The U also has the possession of the football from their own four. And West Virginia with nine minutes to go before halftime, currently in front of number 22, Iowa State, 17-14. to 14. Later games this afternoon, number one, George is at the Swamp against Florida. Texas Tech travels to Norman and number four, Oklahoma. Colorado visits Eugene and number seven, Oregon. Duke is at number 13, Wake Forest. Number 10, Ole Miss visits number 18, Old, or, excuse me, Auburn. Number 12, Kentucky is at Mississippi State tonight at 7. Kansas travels to number 15, Oklahoma State. Number 19, SMU is at Houston. Number 20, Penn State at number 5, Ohio State in a pivotal Big Ten showdown. 
North Carolina visits number 11, Notre Dame. Virginia is at number 25, BYU. And Fresno State is at number 29, 21, San Diego State tonight at 1030. One final break. When we return, the second half gets underway. KCU and Bluefield with the Rams getting the football to start the second half, leading 34-13 when we continue here on the Coyotes My Town TV Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb. Oh no, when that happens, bring your vehicle to Monroe Collision, where owner Kevin Monroe will discuss how best to repair your damage. Let Kevin tell you about their pre-work process and how Monroe Collision will work with your insurance company directly to get you back into your vehicle much sooner. Kevin makes it easy to do because he cares about you and will get you back on the road happy and with a lifetime warranty. Stop by their convenient locations, Sportsman, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Getting ready for the second half of action here in Grayson. Bluefield leading KCU 34-13. They get the football to start the second half. James Carter, happy to have you along with us here on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. Knights on the road next week to Faulkner, and then they return in two weeks for Senior Day against Reinhardt. That game, a 1:30 kickoff. Our countdown to kickoff coverage begins at 1:10. So KCU with some work to do. Trailing by 21, and the defense has to take the field and try to find a way to make a stop and, more importantly, make up for a huge missed opportunity there at the end of the first half. Back to return up for the – Rams, it could be Tyler Sedlock or Ronald Pringle, either one. Both would play a position that would do a return game. Antonio Strickland also back deep. They'll both stand around their own 10. Rodriguez has it teed up on his own 35. KCU kicking it from the west end zone to the east end zone or – from the power plant on the hillside closest to the baseball field. Rodriguez with his approach. A low kick that bounces at the 18, scooped up near sideline by Pringle at the 15. Angles into the center of the field, crosses the 20 and gets the 24. So a return of nine. And Bluefield has the football from their own 24-yard line. Nathan Hersich, 239 and four touchdowns in the first half. Last week threw for 378 and eight touchdowns in the win over St. Andrews. They put 79 points on the scoreboard last week. He wants to throw it on first down. He slings it far sideline as that one's well wide of Matt Trevelyan on an out route. Second down. Yeah. 
Two receivers each way. Johnson in the right pocket of Hersich from the gun. Right between the hashes, the low snap, the give to Johnson. Johnson off left guard, sheds a tackle 30, spins free 35, and gets out to the 39. Gain of 15, first and 10. Eighteenth first down of the ball game for Bluefield. Two receivers each way, boundary left this time. Casey showing blitz, they give it off to Johnson and he has his feet taken out from underneath him as he gets the 40 on only a gain of one. Trying to see who the tackler was, still waiting for him to come up as that was Devin Backus coming out of his linebacking position and making the stop. Senior out of Homewood, Alabama. Second down and nine. Ball at the Rams, 40-yard line. Four hats across the line for the Knights. Hersich wants to throw on second down. Surveying, looking right, left. Now he's going to take off and run it himself. Right up the center of the field he goes, and he'll give himself up on the Knights logo after crossing midfield and to the KCU 49. Gain of 11 on the play. Another first down. 19th of the ball game. Right on the C at KCU logo. Here's Johnson with a head of steam. Right up the gut he goes for a hard two. Down to the 47 of the Knights. Brings up second down and eight. Ominous looking clouds off to our west. Looks like a little bit of fog actually setting over top of the foothills that we can see as well. Trips left, one right, ball in between the hash marks. Casey showing a linebacker blitz, and here it comes. Pressure coming off the edge, and they, Hersich gets it away to the far side flat to Jaquan Ebron, and that'll move the sticks for another Bluefield first down. As he gets down inside the 40 to the 39 on a gain of eight. Before we get moving a an official timeout on the far sideline so they can get the sticks reset. Seventh play of the drive coming up on this one. On the Knights 39, Bluefield has the ball. Here's a Johnson carry, starts left, turns and comes back right off the center. Picks up one, brings up second down and nine. Johnson in the ball game, 16 carries for 66 yards. At only 234 coming in. Twin set for Hersich from the gun. Low snap, steps up in the pocket, slings it toward the far sideline. He was looking for Ebron. Byron Billings in coverage. Brings up third down. Third down and nine from the Knights, 38. Rams with the football, trips left, one right. Hersich from the gun, Johnson in his left pocket. Takes the snap, sets, comes near sideline. He was looking for Strickland on a little go route, and they were not on the same page. Fall, ball falls incomplete into the KCU bench, and it brings up fourth down. And Dewey Lusk wasting little time telling the punting unit to go on out there and have Tanner Griffith see if he can pin KCU deep in its own territory. I watched him in pregame. He was working on from about this distance, and he was consistently inside the 10 on the near side hashes. Ball spotted on the far side hashes. Sims back standing at his own nine. Griffith, right down the center of the field, takes a bounce end over end. It rolls from the 12 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. Yeah. 
So 11.42 to go. They'll bring the ball out to the 20. Never understood that. Why it's on a kickoff, it goes to the 25. On a punt, it goes to the 20. Makes no sense whatsoever. So 11.42 to go in the third. KCU down, 34-13. Justin White, three receivers left, one right. That's Adams. Brown in his left pocket. The high snap, play action, slings it out to the far sideline to Diego Soto on a bubble screen. Soto has the sideline, 25, and is chased out of bounds at the 30. They'll actually say he stepped out at the 29, so that's a gain of nine. Brings up second down and one. Ray Coleman and Adams near side. That's the wide side right. Soto boundary left. Pistol look for Jordan White from the gun. Three hats across the line for the Rams. The take, the give, play action. They'll bring it across the seam. They've got Ray there, and it was read like an open book by Kendarius Finese. He picks it off for the second time today at midfield. He read that one like an open book. They were trying to go down the seam to Brendan Ray, and the third interception of the afternoon for Justin White. As Finese takes it down into KCU territory all the way down to the 34. 10.56 to go third quarter, 34-13, the same score we had at the half. Hersich in a twin set. Johnson in his right pocket. Ball on the near side hash mark. Little delay play. Gives it off to Johnson. He'll go with a stutter step off left tackle and gets down to the 30-yard line of the Knights for a gain of four. Make it second down six. Strickland and Zurio Ebron. Near side, Hersich rolling out right, sets, throws, going toward Jaquan Ebron, and that ball is knocked away. Billings and Horn in the area. It brings up third down. Clock resting, 10.22 to go in the third frame. Rams still leading this one by 21, but face third down and six from the KCU 30. Bluefield, two of eight on third down conversions today. 40% on the season. They'll go trips right, one left. That's Ebron, Zurio Ebron, I should say. Play clock at six. Hersich changed the play at two and one. He takes it, looks near sideline on a quick go route as he throws it into Zurio Ebron, who makes the grab. Now the officials are going to get together and say no pass, no catch, I should say, as he didn't hold on to it all the way through. So nice job by Devin Backus and Gerald Palmer on the near sideline. And a long field goal attempt coming up for Joey Dales as this will be a 47-yard attempt from the near side hash mark. Tanner Griffith to hold. No breeze to speak of. Kick is up and does not have enough. It does just over the crossbar for the field goal and makes it 37-13 with 10-13 to play in the the third quarter. Back after this on the Kowitz My Town TV Sports Network. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Return. Refresh. Refuel. 
Your country Chevrolet and Grayson needs your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Your country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us 606-474-5116. Pure Country Chevrolet, find new roads. Now, KCU is limiting Bluefield to field goals, but the backside of it is they can't find any points. Here's Sims from his own nine, far sideline, angles to the center of the field, 10, 15, gets to the 20, and then gets ridden to the ground from behind on a big stop there by the Rams. Casey will have the football from its own 20 with 10.08 to play in the third and now down 24 points. White starts with three receivers left, one right. That's Adams. They give it off to Brown. Brown searching for a hole on the right side, and there is nothing there. That three-man front for the Rams has clogged up everything that Brown has wanted to do today and trying that sweep play, and it has just not been there at all. Kayshawn Regal, the first man there to make contact. It'll be second down and 10. Same set for White from the gun. Bluefield brings four on the blitz. White, plenty of time, rolls out, flips it out to Brown in the near side flap of the 25, 30, 40, 45 out near midfield when De Demarcus Wimbush jumps on his back and brings him down. But a big gain on second down as White just finds his tailback that leaked out into the flat. They'll take it out to the 47 on a gain of 27. That's Brown's longest reception of the season, and it's a first and 10 for the Knights. Feast goes in motion from near side to far on first down. The handoff to Brown navigates his way through, knifes off left center, and gets out to the 49 on a gain of two. Second down, eight, 8.43 to go third quarter. Knights need points and in a hurry. Trailing 37-13. Gerald Daniels in the ball game now. Two receivers right, Adams left. Feast is an attached tight end. Now Daniels goes in the left pocket of White from the gun. Bluefield rushes three. White comes near side to Adams, and it's broken up. Ryan Smith flies in off the edge and knocks it away. It'll bring up third down. Clock resting, 8.19 to play in the third. Feast comes off, Ray back on. KCU needs the Bluefield 43 to move the sticks. Currently it's at, its, at the Knights 49 right below the big shield at midfield in a twin set. Bluefield showing blitz. Six guys in the box and here they come. White comes near sideline toward Jalen Fortune and throws it over top of the bench. Incomplete, fourth down. And that's just the defense saying, we've got a big lead and we're coming after you. Offense appears to be staying on the field for the moment. Casey has converted on 48% of its fourth down tries this season. They have not attempted one here today, but they look like they're lining up to do so now. Brown back in the ball game. Three hats, now four hats across the line for Bluefield on this fourth and eight play. White looks left, plants, fires. He's got his man Soto in the crossing there at the 30, but he airmails it over top of his head, a good 10 yards, incomplete. And the turnover on downs with 8-10 to go, 8-12 to go, excuse me, in the third, gives it back to Bluefield. And Bluefield's going to start off with the football in KCU territory. 
And one has to wonder after the game that Justin White went through last week in which he was absolutely ping-ponged around at times like a rag doll, was sacked eight times. How much that's played with his psyche is he has just not looked settled with the football today. 12 of 27, 183 yards, three interceptions, and two of them he just threw them right into the hands of the Bluefield defender. Here's Hertzich from the gun. That ball's loose, and I think KCU got it. Flying through and coming up underneath is Jacoby Emery. So it was a bad exchange on the attempt of the handoff to Latavius Johnson. Hersich fumbles the football. And KCU dives on it and will have the football at the Bluefield 48-yard line. Now this is where KCU has to capitalize in a big way. So 8-10 to go in the third. And now Riley Cooper comes into the ball game and he fires a dart to the near sideline and hooks up with Micah Adams. So they go to the backup quarterback and he comes in and delivers a strike right out of the gate. Down to the 42 on a gain of six. Cooper on the season. Seven of 12, 116 yards, a touchdown and an interception. He threw the game winner last week in the win over point. He's got three receivers left, one right. That's Adams on second down and four. Play action, zips it out to the far sideline to Jalen Fortune, who's got first down yardage and more as he gets the sideline and it is chased out of bounds, shy of the 30. A little bit of life coming off this KCU offense with the injection of Cooper. They're going to take him down to the 33-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play by Fortune. As Fortune hauls in his fourth catch of the day. Play clock at nine. Cooper on first and ten. Play action, pressure coming, lobs it out to his man Soto on the far sideline at the 10. He takes a punishing hit on the back end, but it'll be first and goal KCU. Diego Soto had to catch the wounded duck, but he was all alone as it's a gain of 23 and it's first and goal. Cooper, the senior. Has two receivers right, one left with an attached tight end, and Brown now goes to the left pocket on first and goal. He gives it off to Brown. Brown searching for a hole, and he has stood up and sawed off. Charles Cox coming in and making the big hit for the loss, but a penalty marker flies at the end. And we'll check in with our white hat of Scott Moore for the call. We get a personal foul face mask on Bluefield. So that'll set up a first down from the spot of the foul. So it was a loss back to the 14. So it should put it to the seven. And that's exactly where it is. 6.15 to go on a rolling clock here in the third stanza. 37-13, but KCU knocking on the end zone door again. Gerald Daniels goes in the left pocket of Cooper from the gun with trips left, one right. That's Adams. Press coverage. Gives it off to Daniels. Daniels surveys, finds a little seam near sideline and squirts down inside the five to the four and a gain of three. Second down and goal. Luke Pirelli comes in for Sean Ray. Cooper taking a look to the sideline. Trying to orchestrate a little magic here for the Knights down by 24, but threatening with points here. Here's Cooper 
The give to Daniels. Daniels right up the gut, fighting his way toward the end zone. Does he get through? They'll say he's down at the one. So a gain of three. It'll be third and goal from the inside the one. Or that famous line that they like to say all too much in the game of football. The ball will be placed at the one-half-yard line, which doesn't exist. They actually do have the football with the nose of the football touching the one-yard line. So it is third and goal from the one. They'll go to a pistol look this time. Two receivers wide left, one right. That's Adams with an H back of Borelli. Showing blitz. Cooper turns, looks. There's nobody. There he goes to Adams in the back corner of the end zone on a broken play, and Mike Adams hauls in his first collegiate touchdown. And with 4.34 to play in the third, the Knights are on the scoreboard again. They trail at 34, 37 to 19. Cooper turned right. Daniels went left. And all he could do was just play some backyard football. Micah Adams made a great adjustment, and Cooper threw a dart to him for the score. So Rodriguez out for the extra point attempt. It was blocked last time. It's down, it's up, it's through, it's good. 37 to 20. 434 to go in the third. Back for more after this on the Cool It's My Town TV Sports Network. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Greenham and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenham, Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Adults Pharmacy. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb. Seven plays, 51 yards, 344 in time of possession, and Riley Cooper throws a dart to Micah Adams in the back of the end zone for the score, a one-yard touchdown. Adams' first collegiate touchdown, and it's 37-20. to KCU trails it. Rodriguez's kickoff comes near sideline. Backpedaling is Pringle back to the 10, and then he is wrapped up and brought to the turf after crossing the 15 to the 17. Now let's see if the defense can step up and make another big play with 4.28 to go here in the third. Bluefield from their own 17. Bluefield with the football, far side hash mark. They'll give it off to Johnson. Johnson with a head of steam, comes off right center and gets out to the 20, possibly the 21. We got one official on the 20 and one on the 21, or the 20 and then the 21, excuse me. They will push it over the 20, so a gain of four, second down and six. Hendricks wants to throw it, slings it out on the far sideline, has his man there as he makes the grab and is pushed out of bounds. As that's out to Cadence Lamp, the new running back that's in the ball game. So he takes it out to the 27-yard line on a gain of six. First down, Rams. They'll go far sideline again. Going up is Trevelyan making the grab at the 35. He's free and down the sideline he goes to midfield and into KCU territory. Now they'll say it actually stopped at the 50. 
So a gain of 23 takes it right to the midfield stripe and another first down for the Rams. You can feel the rain moving in. It has gotten cooler over the last 10, 15 minutes. Here's a handoff. Johnson looks left, cuts it back right. He crosses the midfield stripe. The pile still driving forward, and he's finally pushed to the ground. KCU says it has the football, and they do. Coming out of the pile with the football is Gerald Palmer. As that right there is just an example of Johnson trying to be a little bit overzealous, fighting for extra yardage, and the pile got there. Palmer just reaches in and rips it out. So he coughs the football up at the 43-yard line. And the Knights have the football now at their own 43 with 251 to go in the third. Cooper wants to throw on first down. All kinds of time. Looks far sideline. Has his man down the far seam and is broken up. He was looking for Ray. It was swatted away by Markel Banks. It'll be second down. Ray, Fortune, and Adams near side on the wide side right. Soto left, Brown in the left pocket. Now to the right side he goes of Cooper from the gun on second down. Bluefield brings three. Ball was tipped at the line, and Cooper takes a big pop off the edge. Is coming untouched off the edge was Jaden Campbell, 235-pound defensive end, and brings up third down. KCU on the afternoon, 5 of 11 on third down conversions. Third and 10 from their own 43. Free play for Cooper as the defense flew across. No, no flags go there, and it was knocked away by Kadarius Finese. Penalty markers did not fly. They thought they had a free play, and that was almost a dangerous one. That one should have been free all day long. Finese just about picked off his third pass of the day, and instead it's fourth and ten. You'd almost think KCU at times has been playing on the road today. That's horrendous. So as it speaks, the offense staying on the field. They're 0 for 1 on fourth down conversions this afternoon. Play clock is down to 11. They're going to have to hustle. Ray goes to the far sideline. Play clock at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This one is a free play as Charles Cox comes off the edge untouched. And that needs to be a, a personal foul as they got him up high at the same time when he came down. It's going to be an offsides penalty as the rain starts to fly once again. So move it forward five and make it fourth down and five now for the Knights. So that puts the ball at their own 48-yard line. And how Charles Cox did not get popped for a personal foul there, he went up high on the quarterback. So three receivers right, that's the wide side of the field. Bluefield with six hats across the line. They send three. They give it to Brown. He's got first down yardage and more as he slips a tackle midfield. Cuts back to the center of the field across the 40, and he's down inside the 40-yard line to the 38. Gain of 14 on the play by Jordan Brown. Twin set for Cooper now. Pistol look with Brown. The snap, the turn to give to Brown. Brown rolls it off the left edge. Slips a tackle, 35. Hurdles a man at the 30 and gets down to the 25. 
Put that man on the track and field team. They're going to say he went out at the 27 on the hurdle attempt, so a gain of 11, but another first down for the Knights. Gerald Daniels in the backfield now in the right pocket. Three receivers right, one left. Cooper from the gun on first down. 90 seconds to go in the third. Pumps, pressure coming off the edge, and he's going to be dropped for the sack as Jaden Campbell dropping him all the way back at the 34. Loss of seven on the play. And that brings up second and 17. Now they moved it back to the 35, or 33, excuse me. So a loss of six. Inside of one minute to play in the rain is really coming down to our west. I can see it approaching the stadium. And that's going to be the hardest rain we've seen all day long. Cooper. Pressure coming off the edge, brings it near sideline. He's got his man there of Adams who makes the grab at the 27. Angles back in the center of the field, sheds a tackle 20, and is down near the 15. Micah Adams making his presence known today as he'll move the sticks for another KCU first down as they take it down to the Bluefield 16 on a gain of 17. Third first down on the drive, 26 seconds to go into third. 37-20. Bluefield leading this one. Brown in the right pocket of Cooper from the gun on what probably is the last play of the third. Low snap, pressure coming up the middle, airing it out near sideline. They've got Fortune there. Does he stay in bounds? No. Was coming to the near sideline on a flag route. He was wide open, but he was a little bit too far toward the sideline, and he could not get possession inbound, so it brings up second and ten. Adams and Fortune near side. And into the ball game for the first time today is Lavelle Henry. He goes far sideline with Sean Ray. Brown in the right pocket of Cooper from the gun. Clock resting with 10 seconds to go into third. Bluefield showing blitz. Here they come. Cooper just pitches it over top of the defense. They had it set up perfectly going with a shovel pass, but he didn't get enough on it to get it to Brown. It falls incomplete and it's third down. Brown makes that catch, and he has daylight in front of him. And Cooper just knew he was a sitting duck waiting for that one to come. I just had to shovel it forward and just about a yard short of getting it to where it needed to be. So the rain really beating down on the playing surface is now it. Heavy rain has arrived, and it'll be third down and 10 for the Knights from the 16-yard line of the Rams. Again, showing blitz. Pressure coming off the edge. They go back corner on a fade route to Fortune. The ball was picked, but it's an incomplete pass as Travis Clinch was the man that pulled it in, but he was out of bounds on the reception. So it brings up fourth down and goal, and KCU is going to elect to go for a field goal for Paul Rodriguez in a driving rain with a wind coming out of the west. The football will be placed at the 23, so call it a 33-yard kick with a wind blowing across his back from the left to the right. Inacio to put it down. It's up, and it is good. As the third quarter comes to a close, it'll be 37-23. Bluefield in front as we go to the fourth and final quarter after this on the Coit's My Town TV Sports Network. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more 
or to schedule a visit on campus. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb. 37 to 20 as heavy rain is coming down here in Grayson. This is the heaviest we've seen it here this afternoon. But the Knights get points, but not the points they certainly wanted as the field goal cuts it to a two-score game. But they're down 14 points with 15 minutes to play in this one. So Rodriguez kicking from now right to left as I view it. We'll go with a little pooch kick that comes to the near sideline and goes out of bounds. So Bluefield will have it at their own 35. And this is an absolute downpour right now. <laughs> there is no way else to describe it. And this is something that, Casey, you certainly wanted to see earlier in this game rather than later to try to slow down that passing attack of Bluefield. But they've done a fairly decent job since the halftime period. Hurchitz with 239 at the break. He's only at 273 now. Here's Johnson with a head of steam, goes off the left center. And takes it out to the 45-yard line on a gain of. Gain of, well, they did not spot the football at the 35. They actually put it at the 37. So they put it where the football went out of bounds. So Johnson's last carry was a gain of eight. And then... Another dive this time out to the 47, 48 yard line, a gain of three, and that'll move the sticks for a Bluefield first down. Twenty-three first downs. Case you showing blitz. Backus comes untouched. Nearly got home, but they dump it out to Johnson on the near sideline, and he's upended by Jacoby Emery into the KCU bench. But he's into KCU territory down to the 42 of the Knights. That's a gain of 10 and another Bluefield first down. They're 24th in the ballgame. 13.50 left to go in the contest. 14-point lead for the Rams. Here's a handoff to the tailback of Cadence Lamp. He'll get two to the 40. Second down and eight for the Rams. 13-31 to go in the ball game. Three receivers left. That's Ebron, Trevilian, and Strickland. Zuriel Ebron on the near side, boundary right. Pressure coming off the edge. And Herich is going to get dropped for the loss. Untouched with Ethan Owens, the senior from Haywood, California, comes in and gets the sack. His third sack of the season, and he drops Henrich all the way back to the 48 of the Knights, and it'll bring up third down and long. Loss of eight on the play on the sack by Owens. Make it third down and 16 now. Ball near side hash mark. Three receivers left, one right. Hersich from the gun, rolling out left, looking left. He's going to air it out. That's a wounded duck that's up in the air. And getting underneath it is Horn. Linton Horn gets his second pick of the day from the 25. He stood up after crossing the 30. And the defense holds strong yet again.
You could tell that ball slipped out of his hand as he went forward with it. And Linton Horn just threw on the brakes and came back up underneath it to pick it off. And KCU will have the football from their own 33. 12-24 to go in the ball game. Cooper starts Brown now on the left side. Two receivers left, one right. That's the boundary. The turn to give to Brown. Brown shifts, goes right, bounces it to the outside, 35, and then falls forward for a couple of more. They'll take him out to the 39. That's a gain of six. Second down and four. 12 minutes to go in the ball game. Knights down by 14. Certainly make things entertaining and interesting with a touchdown on this drive. Same set for Cooper. He'll put Brown in the pistol. They'll give it to Brown. Brown shifts left, makes a man miss 40, and he's out to midfield. Gain of 11 on the play, first and 10 nights. Twenty-first first down of the ball game for KCU, and an injury timeout for Bluefield. Looks like it's a cramping issue for Logan Patron, the defensive end. Injury timeout back in 60 seconds on the Cool Hits My Town TV Sports Network. When you're in a vehicle accident, Monroe's Collision wants you to know you do have a choice where you take it. Monroe Collision's technicians will repair your vehicle back to factory specifications using the highest quality parts, materials, and equipment, and they take pride in restoring your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Choose Monroe Collision, where they handle all aspects of your claim. Stop by the convenient locations, Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, and Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Patron jumps up and moves off to the field on his own accord. It's first and ten nights from midfield. Cooper from the gun. Puts Coleman in a deep motion. Gives it off to Daniels. Daniels shifts left, right, and a little dancing move, and he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second down and ten. Approaching the 11-minute mark to go in the ball game. Knights down by 14 with the football. Needing a touchdown on this drive, and then the defense to force another big stop and give them a chance to tie the ball game. Three hats across the line for Bluefield. Cooper rolling out, drops it out to the left, right side, excuse me. Had Dylan Feast in the flat. Passes incomplete. It's third down. Cooper went with a little naked bootleg there on a rollout and had Feast the tight end, but could not make the connection. Sims comes in, Feast comes off. It'll be Sims, Coleman, and Soto near side, Adams far side, that's the boundary right. Cooper and Brown in the backfield in an offset pistol. Bluefield loading the line, showing blitz off the edge, press coverage on the edges as well. Cooper. Brings it across the middle, had Micah Adams there, but it was tipped away. It was Ryan Smith that got a hand on it, and it's fourth down. Offense appears to be staying on the field, one of three on fourth down conversions this afternoon. And Jake Russell, first year head coach, Sends the punting unit out with 10.47 to go in the, in the fourth quarter clock. So Strickland will jog back to his own 20. Rodriguez to kick it away. An end-over-end -end kick. It will bounce at the 20, and KCU will down it inside the five. 
Now they'll walk it out to the six. So a 44-yard kick, no return. 10.39 to go in the ball game. Bluefield in possession of the football and a 14-point lead. But KCU has got to find a way to get the football back here and find a way to get in the end zone. Trailed this game 31-7 at one point in the first half. We'll see if the defense can peel their ears back and go after the quarterback, Nathan Hertzich. He's got a twin set. They'll give it off to Johnson. Right up the gut he goes, and he's met by Deshaun Hill, the big senior defensive tackle out of Fresno, California, in the hole. Push him out for a gain of two. Second down and eight. Johnson approaching 100 yards on the afternoon. He only had 223 coming in to the ball game. He'll shift into the right pocket. Hersich from the gun, two receivers each way. Ball between the hashes. Low snap, looks out to the far sideline. Has his man there of Ebron who makes the grab. Crosses the 10, the 15, and will move the sticks for a Bluefield first down, their 25th of the ball game. Out to the 17-yard line on a gain of nine. 9.45 on a rolling clock here in the fourth and final stanza. Knights defense needing some magic. The offense has got to cash in on any opportunity it has the rest of the way. But the defense here has to force a stop. Bluefield using every tick on that clock it can use to try to find a way to get out of Grayson with only their third win in this series. There's a handoff, Johnson. He stonewalled off the edge as Kendall Packer wraps him up. Ethan Owens comes off the edge and helps finishes him off. That's going to be a loss of two back to the 15. Make it second down and 12 for the Rams, who at this point of the game in the structure will certainly be content of consuming about every second of that 40 seconds that they can get by just simply running the football. And it's going to be a full dose of Latavius Johnson the rest of the way down the stretch and until KCU can pull to within one score or tie this ball game. Here's a ball out to the near sideline just as I say that, and Strickland gets free as Emery had him wrapped up, could not hang on to him. He slips free at the 30 and then squirts forward to move the sticks for another Bluefield first down. A penalty marker on KCU on the back end of this for a personal foul. So they'll mark this one off from the 35. So put it out to midfield. And that's a Back-breaking blow right there for the Knights. KCU has now been flagged in this football game seven times for 85 yards. First and 10, Bluefield. Hertrich slings it out to the far sideline to Ebron, Jaquan Ebron. He makes the grab and falls forward for a yard at best. Make it second down and nine for the Rams. Approaching the eight-minute mark to go in the ball game. Bluefield hung 34 in the first half. They've scored only three here in the second. But they led it 34 to 13 at the halftime period. And the Knights offense has just not been able to generate enough here down the stretch. Twin set for Hurchich from the gun. Johnson in his right pocket, the low snap. He keeps it himself. Follows Johnson off left tackle and pushes it out for a gain of a yard. It'll be third down and, and eight. Seven and a half to go. Owens off. Nero Hawks in as Casey goes into a nickel. Bluefield going empty on this draw on this play. Two receivers boundary left, three right. Four 
Four hats across the line, now make it five and six. Pressure coming off the edge. Hersich lets it fly, looking for his man Ebron on the far sideline. He was tangled up with Gerald Palmer, and the penalty marker flies from behind for the pass interference. There's also a penalty marker in the backfield. This one could be a double whammy against KCU. Hersich got pounded as he let go of the football. And now let's check in with our referee of Scott Moore for what he's going to say. So we got a personal foul roughing the passer. So make it first and 10 up to the 33 it goes now as KCU has been flagged eight times in this football game for a, even 100 yards on the afternoon. So a fresh set of downs for the Rams. Seven minutes to go in the ball game. The first down give to Johnson. He's met in the backfield and wrapped up underneath. As making the stop for KCU was Trent Hill. Out of Vine Grove, Kentucky. No gain on the play. It'll be second and 10 from the Knights' 33-yard line. Twin looks for Hurstich. Johnson in his right pocket. Play clock at 13. Looks far sideline. Comes near sideline. Goes across the middle. Ball is tipped, and it's picked off. Myron Billings gets the interception back at the 25. Springs free across the 30, the 35. And KCU forces a big defensive turnover. And they've got the ball back with 6.15 to go in the contest and down 14. So it was a tipped ball. And it was one of those that you just had to wait for it to get there. And Billings did just that. And then we get a sideline warning, I believe, on KCU. So the Knights will bring the football out to the 37-yard line. With 6.15 to go, is there a little magic left for the Cardiac Knights? Riley Cooper will start with trips right, one left, that's Soto. Plenty of time, floats it near sideline, looking for Soto. Soto gets absolutely obliterated as he turns looking for the ball. No penalty markers fly. Finazzi and Banks in the area. And unfortunately for the fans that don't like the call, pass was not catchable as it was well underthrown and Soto was not going to get back to it. So make it second down and 10, clock resting 6-10. Three receivers right, one left, three hats across the line for Bluefield. They rush three. Pressure coming off the edge, dumps it out to Brown. Brown makes a man miss as he shifts from left to right and gets the 40 out to the 41, a gain of four. So make it third down and six from the Knights 41 yard line near side hash mark. Adams, Fortune, and Sims, right. Diego Soto, left. Play clock continues to roll, as does the game clock, and KCU playing right now like it's leading by 14. Five and a half to go in the ballgame. Clock is still rolling. They've burned 30 seconds to call a play. They'll bring it out to Brown, is in the near side flat. He can't haul it in. In coverage, closest to him is Logan Patron. It's fourth down. And in this sense of the ball game, a little bit more sense of urgency needs to be expressed. Down by 14. It'll be another fourth down opportunity here. One of three on fourth down are the Knights. Bluefield with only three hats across the line. Cooper from the gun and a twin set. Turns, looks to the sideline with the clock rested at 522 to go in the ball game. Bluefield now brings up four across the line. Sims goes in motion near side to far. Fourth down, he looks it out towards Sims, and that ball's nearly picked, and it is. Charles Cox runs underneath it, slips it at the 20, and he's going into the house for the pick six. 
as Cox picks it off at the 35 yard line. And the pick six with 5-11 to go in the ball game. Makes it 43-23. Extra point attempt coming. It's back, it's down, it's up, it's good. 44-23. Back for more after this on the Quits My Town TV Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts, and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. 44-23, 5-11 to go in the ball game. And a big defensive play by the Rams as a 35-yard pick six from Charles Turner Cox. Makes it 44-23. Good kickoff this time goes into the end zone. Diego Soto, three yards deep, decides to bring it back out. Comes out to the near sideline, stutter steps at the 20, shifts and is chased out of bounds at the 25. Five oh four to go in this one. KCU. In a tremendous hole, down now by 21. And very little time to speak of to try to find its way back in this one. Cooper puts a man in motion, that's Fortune. Dumps it out to the near sideline, into the seam, that's to Jordan Brown. Penalty markers fly on the end of that. He'll get it out to the 26, 27-yard line, and there's going to be 15 added on the end of it. As they'll get a personal foul face mask against Bluefield. So a gain of two on the pass play and then move it 15 yards forward. And should take it out to the Knights 42 yard line, which it does. Sixth penalty of the afternoon for 50 yards for the Rams. Ball right between the hashes. Three hats across the line for the Rams. Trips right, one left. That's Soto. Cooper, pressure coming up the middle. Floats it out to the near sideline to uh, Gerald Daniels, but it's well short of Daniels in the flat. It falls incomplete, second down and 10. Clock resting, 440. Bluefield in an even 400 yards on the afternoon. KCU at 360. Neither team has yet to bust 100 yards on the ground, which is not uncharacteristic for Bluefield. Casey, you had been just a tick over 100 coming in. Cooper in a twin set. Bluefield rushes four. Cooper comes near sideline, goes to Soto. Soto had it in his hands and lost it. The Banks brothers, Markel and Michael, in the coverage that uh, then swatted away on a bobbled ball there by Soto right in front of his bench. It's third and 10. 4.35 to go on a rested clock. Left to go in the ball game. Ray and Soto near side. Fortune and Adams far side. Cooper on third down, pressure coming up the middle, goes across the middle, and that ball's tipped and picked off. Cash has it off the far sideline at the 20. He is 
taken off his feet by Jalen Fortune. And Trey Michael Cash picks off his second ball of the season as he read that one like an open book from his safety position as he hauled it in from midfield and takes it all the way down to the Knights. I believe 16-yard line is where they're going to spot him. And that's, there it is, a return of 34 on the play. 426 to go in the ball game, and Bluefield's about to cash in on what will be their third win in 10 tries in this series. And they're going to snap a two-game losing streak to KCU. The previous two wins came in the, night, in the 2019 campaign in October and November when they played twice that season. Here's Johnson on the handoff. Right up the gut he goes. He's upended as soon as he gets to the hole as Jacoby Emery comes in and makes the, makes the hit. He'll take him down to the 12-yard line of the Knights on a gain of four second and six. Four minutes to go in the ball game. In that 2019 season, Bluefield came from behind and won 57-54 here at KCU. And then on a cold, rainy, and windy night up in Bluefield, one month later in November, they defeated KCU 30-12. Here's Johnson on the handoff, tripped up off the edge as getting there first was Jacquees Murphy. He'll fall forward to the 10 for a gain of two. So makes it third down and four. I was a part of both of those games, and that game at Bluefield was one of the ugliest football games I've seen KCU play. The quarterback that night, I believe it was either five or six interceptions that he threw in an offense that just looked stagnant at its absolute very best on a night that it was just miserable conditions. Cold, rainy, windy. So third down and four. They'll give it off to Johnson. Johnson tries to shift from the left to the right, and he gets stood up before he gets to the hole at the 11. So that brings up fourth down. Field goal unit will come on. Two thirty to go in the ball game. It's a twenty-one point lead currently in this to make it a full three possession game. Dales for the for the field goal from the eighteen. It's back. It's bobbled. He picks it up. He's going to try to throw it, and he just slips and falls down. So. That was about as ugly as an attempt as it becomes. I think that was one of the things. He saw guys coming at him that he did not like the way it looked, and he said, I'm done. I will just fall down, and that was probably one of the smartest decisions he could have made. So a loss of seven on the play as KCU will take over on their own 18-yard line. But with only two minutes and 18 seconds to go in the ball game. Knights will take over, trailing by 21. Jarrett Hampton in the backfield with Riley Cooper. Bluefield has everybody back in coverage, only rushing three. They'll take it out on the far side flat. That's to Hampton who makes the grab at the 18. Cuts upfield across the 20. And they're going to push him out to the 24. If they place the football on the field. There we go. Gain of six. Second down and four. Inside of two minutes to play in the ball game. Trips left, one right for Cooper. Brings it out to the near sideline. That ball's tipped and nearly picked off. That was a dangerous pass there by my, to Michael Banks, who was the defender, and he was the closest guy that was going to make a play on that. If he hauls that one in, it's six. Tried to go with a little bubble screen. And Michael Banks was inside position and nearly took it away from Soto. Clock resting, 141 to go. Third and four for the Knights. Here's a handoff to the tailback as they'll give it off to Jared Hampton, and he gets 
plastered from behind as he comes around the edge by Tyler Sedlock, but not before he moves the sticks for another KCU first down. Take him out to the 28-yard line on a gain of four. Clock resting, a minute 27 until they get the football spotted. Now they've got it spotted. Twin set for Cooper. Bluefield brings only two on a rush. He'll dump it off on the near side flat as the hookup is with Tez Coleman. He's across the 30, out to the 33, a gain of five. It'll be second down and five. Stay tuned with us after the game for the post-game show. We'll check all the scoring and stats from this one. As KCU is going to lose a heartbreaker here today, here's Richmond Sims on the reception out of the slot. He'll get it out to the 37. So gain of four on the play brings up third down and one. Clock continues to roll. So with the win, Bluefield is going to, going to make it a four and five record. Here's Soto on a deep post route across the middle as he makes the connection. And a move the sticks for another KCU first down, down into Bluefield territory. Now Soto's down on the turf. They're going to take him down to the 40. That's a gain of 23. Bluefield is going to make it three in a row after falling to one and four on the se excuse me one and five on the season. They defeated Warner 51-36. They hung 79 on St. Andrews last week in a shootout 79-64. They've got two games remaining at point next week, and then they close out at home with Union. As for the Knights, they'll be on the road at Faulkner next week, and then they bring in Reinhardt the following week for Senior Day. And what was... Again, KCU needed to win today and then a win next week at currently ranked number 19, Faulkner. Reinhardt is currently ranked eighth. And two wins back-to-back -back was going to set up the de facto conference championship game for the Knights. Unfortunately, that is not going to happen as we're 13 seconds from this one being a final. And Bluefield... Snapping a two-game losing streak to KCU. Now they've moved the football back on us, so they've put it back to the 43-yard line. So call it a gain of 20. 13 seconds to go in the ball game, and this will be the final play, barring a penalty. Cooper in a twin set. No pressure whatsoever. Rolls out near sideline. Has his man there that makes the grab. As that is Lavelle Henry. And that's your ball game. Take him down to the 36, so a gain of seven. But the Knights come up empty here today as they fall to Bluefield by a final score of 44 to 23. Post game is up when we continue on the Coits My Town TV Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Greenham and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup, Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. 
quality marathon gasoline, great monthly specials on snacks and beverages, and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way. In Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Final score here this afternoon, KCU falls to Bluefield 44-23. to Here on Military Appreciation Date on in, in Grayson. Let's take you back through this one. Uh, a lot of scoring to talk about in this ball game. We snapped it between the two combined 160 times of official football plays. 73 for Bluefield, 87 for KCU. And they, uh, they hung 34 in the first half. And just put KCU in such a uh, a position to have to try to come from behind and just could not find a way down the stretch to do so. Too many turnovers in this contest for KCU, uh, especially through the passing game. First quarter saw a pair of touchdowns from Nathan Herstich to Antonio Strickland, the first one from 20, the second one from 6. It was 14-0 with 337 to go in the first. The Knights find the end zone. Jordan Brown caps off his five-yard touchdown run. With 46 ticks left to go in the first quarter clock, 14-7 to seven after one. Bluefield gets two more touchdowns to start the second quarter. Herstich this time goes to Jaquan Ebron from one yard out, then to Matthew Trevelyan from five yards out. Makes it 28-7 to seven with 9.29 to go in the first half. Two minutes later, a 32-yard field goal from Joey Dells is good, 31-7. to Seven, seven minutes to go before halftime. Justin White finds Diego Soto 17 yards out with 2.38 to go before halftime. That made it 31-13. But a field goal 58 seconds to go before the break. 26 yards from Joey Dales is good. 34-13 our score after one half of play. We go into the third quarter. Dales has to go for another field goal after the defense holds tight. He splits the uprights from 47 yards out. His longest kick of the season, 10-13 to play in the third. Bluefield adds to its lead. It's now 37-13. KCU gets an answer. Ryan Lee Cooper finds Micah Adams on a broken play from one yard out. Extra point is good, 37-20. to 20. KCU then adds a field goal to end the third quarter, 33 yards away from Paul Rodriguez, made it 37-23. The Knights had several opportunities from that point, but just never could cash in. And the final play that broke the Camels back, Riley Cooper's pass intended Toward Jordan Brown was intercepted by Charles Turner Cox, a 35-yard pick six to the house, 44-23, your final score. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll check individual scoring and statistics as we continue here in the postgame show on the Coyotes My Town TV Sports Network. Your country Chevrolet and Grayson needs your vehicle. We're low on inventory and prepared to make you an offer on the spot to buy your car, even if you don't buy one of ours. Literally within 10 minutes of coming in, we'll have you a cash offer. Have a payoff on it? No problem. We'll pay that loan off and write you a check for the balance. Just bring your title, driver's license, all your keys, and most recent payment statement so we can get the payoff. We'll even drive you home if you need. Your country Chevrolet, ready to buy. Let us put cash in your pocket. Visit us online, purecountrychevrolet.com, or call us 606-474-5116. Your country Chevrolet find new roads. State Senator Robin Webb wishes the best of luck to all involved in football games this season. The players, coaches, cheerleaders, and support staff. Your State Senator Robin Webb is always proud to support our youth in all of their endeavors, both in the classroom and on and off the field, and will always strive to put our youth and adults first as she works hard to support the people in her district. Have fun, play hard, be safe in all your games this season. From your State Senator Robin Webb, Let's take a look at individual scoring and statistics in this, and we'll start first with the team stats for Bluefield. 398 total yards of offense, 73 plays. 313 through the air, 85 on the ground. They were flagged six times for 50 yards. They turned it over five times, two fumbles and three interceptions. Uh, they recorded three sacks. They had the football for 26 minutes and 11 seconds uh, in the ballgame. 
27 first downs, 3 of 12 on third down, 0 of 1 on fourth down. KCU 406 of total offense, 87 plays. They snap it here this afternoon, 326 through the air, only 80 on the ground. They were flagged eight times for 100 yards. Punted the ball away five times for an average of 30.6. Had the football for 33 minutes and one second. 25 first downs in the ball game. They were 8 of 19 on third down conversion, 2 of 4 on fourth down conversion. Individual statistics look like this. Nathan, Nathan Herstich, 24 of 40, 313, four touchdowns, three interceptions. Latavius Johnson, 27 carries for 90 yards on the rushing attack. Jaquan Ebron leads the way with eight catches, 116 yards and a score. Antonio Strickland, seven balls for 87 and two touchdowns. Matthew Trevilian, five for 67. Justin White, 12 of 27, 183, a touchdown and three interceptions. Riley Cooper goes 12 of 27 for a buck 04, a touchdown and two interceptions, one of those being a pick six. Brendan Ray throws one for 39 that he hooked up with Micah Adams. Jordan Brown, 20 carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. That's the uh, rush leading rusher for the Knights. Diego Soto, five balls for 78 and a score. Micah Adams, five for 73 and a score. Ray had two for 57. Fortune and Brown each with four, 43 and 40, respectfully. Put it all together, 44-23, your final score. Let's take another break. When we return, we'll wrap it up here on a breezy now afternoon in Grayson. Knights fall to the Rams of Bluefield. Back for more after this on the postgame show on the Coit's My Town TV Sports Network. When you're in a vehicle accident, Monroe's Collision wants you to know you do have a choice where you take it. Monroe Collision's technicians will repair your vehicle back to factory specifications using the highest quality parts, materials, and equipment, and they take pride in restoring your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Choose Monroe Collision, where they handle all aspects of your claim. Stop by their convenient locations, Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, and Ashland. At SOMC, it's happening. Now the SOMC Patient Portal app puts managing your health care right in your hands. You can request appointments with a simple touch of a screen, quickly and easily get a refill of your prescriptions, make online bill payments, direct message your SOMC provider, and even have safe and convenient virtual visits just about anywhere. The Patient Portal app at Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. Back here in the postgame show, KCU now turns its attention to number 19, Faulkner, on the road down to Montgomery, Alabama next Saturday. And then their final game of the season, Senior Day, with number 8, Reinhardt, coming into Grayson. Both of those games scheduled for a 1.30 kickoff. Don't forget, uh, we'll be on the air Thursday night with the Coach Jake Russell show as we'll uh, break this one down and preview the matchup with Faulkner coming up on Saturday. Let's take our final break. We'll wrap it up when we return after this on the Coit's My Town TV Sports Network. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Final score here this afternoon, KCU falls 44-23 to to Bluefield. The Knights fall to 3-5 and five on the season, while Bluefield improves to 4-5. and five. A big thanks to all the crew here from iTown TV, as well as a great crew back at the Coit Sports Network. Fabulous job, as always, as well as all the staff here at Kentucky Christian University. Again, your final score, 44-23. to 23. Bluefield wins it on this cold and gloomy day in Grayson. For everyone at MyTown TV and the Coit Sports Network, I'm James Carr. Good afternoon, everyone.